live stream at 11 a.m. Pacific time along with the Story Builder. It's an amazing time to jump back into the world of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Now, for those of us who are just joining this live stream, the conference is going to start really soon. But before we wrap it up and jump into the theater, we have one more amazing WoW Moments compilation for you. Now, these are the best clips that we received from you, the community. So hold on to your beards, mud flaps, butts, whatever you got. Go for it. Oh my god! Oh my god, oh, get the kill, get the kill, right next to you, get the kill. Hey, oh my god, that was nasty. Hi, Bean. I'm Bean, creator of Wikibenia. You know, Wikibenia. Shop for maps in it. He started swinging while the thing was getting me up, so he knew I was gonna get up. What a bully. Corey was Surprise, gone. motherfucker. One of the, oh, shit! Oh, <laughs> why my feet? I think they had to invent an ESRB rating descriptor for chicken-related acts for that last one. <laughs> that was mean. I felt so bad for the chicken. I just thought it was funny. I don't know. <laughs> Poor was... chicken, though. This has been such a great show. I uh, yeah, from the wow moments to all the creators around here. I mean, absolutely. It's just been a blast. Game sounds really cool. I'm definitely gonna go check that out after for a nice game. Hey everyone, yes, we're back. One thing here. Uh, I did some editing with the audio. Hopefully, it's better, but it doesn't look like it may be. We're gonna do some audio check for the actual. Thing goes on. Check, check, one, two, game. one, two. And of course, we've got a lot more to come. Two, After three, one, four, seven. Free t-shirts. We're going to have a celebrity showdown. Team T-Pain. Team Oof. Royal Yachty in Rainbow Six Siege. Facing off, you're not going to want to miss it, folks. There's going to be a ton of streamers along for the ride as well. It's going to be a good match. Ubisoft. Yeah, I really can't choose who I want to win. T-Pain, Royal Yachty. Oh, I am full of sugar chicken. <laughs> I'm ready. Uh, team neutral. Yes. Team neutral. That neutral. works. Sure. Or both of them. You know, good competition. <laughs> yes, like Ice Pizza. Yes. And folks, that's it for us on the pre-show. Uh, we hope you enjoyed being here half as much as we enjoyed hosting. Hey, Mike, you got 30 seconds. And from Far Cry <clears throat> to Assassin's no pressure. Creed to Trials to Brawl Hollow, we got to see so many. Start cool pressing games, buttons on so the cool uh, stream deck. You don't mind? We saw screen printing. We saw yes, makeup. I mind. Right. We saw <laughs> rabbits figurines. Shout out to Steve. And we're getting yes. quest builder. <laughs> yeah, we're quest yeah, we're cool. Shopping cool. carts. Yeah. Second half of the show is brought to you by Diet Coke. So many good options. So many good options. Mm. Instant fried chicken. Everything. <laughs> Uh, so on behalf of all of us at the pre-show, thank you so much for joining us. We're going to head into the Orpheum Theater, and for everyone at Ubisoft, we hope you enjoy. Bye-bye. All right, guys. Uh, let me know how the uh, the audio is faring. Um, we don't want to be too loud, mm -hmm. but uh, we appreciate any and all <laughs> uh, feedback on the audio. I think I have an orchestrated appearance of... Ooh, symphony. Symphony. What's going on, Nico? Neko, sorry, Neko. <laughs> Have a good one.
haven't seen you in a while though. Yeah. It's all good? Thank you, thank you. Don't mind my uh my chroma keyed weird at uh weird ass uh, table going on right now. Sounds fine? Perfect. It's actually the uh the cables that hang off the side when it's bright that you really notice. Yeah. Luckily it's dark. Hello, Machete. Machete. What's going on? I already feel like the uh, the budget for the show has increased by 100 fold <clears throat> from the last show. There's a bit of echo on my mic. Is that only when I speak? And Mike's mic. If it's only when I speak, then it is this microphone. It might just if that's be my the case. I could always just lower it. Yeah. Mike does echo, echo. Sometimes, sometimes when he speaks, speaks. <laughs> oh. I almost broke this thing. This water what? bottle. What? Oh, the new one? Your new egg life. No echo? All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Don't worry, Nico. Echo is not a problem if you typo, because we understand typos. Because we typo more than anyone. And the worst is when you typo on chat, because you want to correct it, but you can't. Okay, uh, Assassin's Creed 3, while it is somewhat of a repetitive game, and kind of a, a slow-paced one, um, what's it called? It had the best theme song. <laughs> By the way, Kat, if, if I'm, I'm going to rely on other people to say if there's an echo or not. You're the only one saying it right now. So mm -hmm. until other people start complaining, then I'll start taking action. <laughs> I'm, I'm taking the, uh, the Trish advice. Uh -huh. I'm not looking for a problem if there maybe isn't one. Hmm. I think Mike's the problem. Just saying, you know. You're a much better up front here, Mike. I like an up front Mike. I know, I know. Not the uh, behind me Mike. Not the same. I want those holsters. Yeah, Weldon's not getting any of them, so. Yeah. How was lunch? Great. What'd you have, Dennis? I had sugar chicken. Really? Yeah, you know. I went to, um... No, I was gonna go to Jack in the Box, but then our Fullerton Street's... It's pretty much destroyed now. Yes, it is. So we have to go down Azusa, and once I was on Azusa, it's like I better just get some. Uh, yeah, you gotta just. Panda Express what, sugar chicken. Take what you can. Uh, I had spaghetti and carrots. That sounds like a much better choice. Ugh. I had to recover from uh, all that cold brew coffee. It's yeah. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. Not not eating late for me, and then having nothing but caffeine drinks in the morning. I was getting the jitters, I was shaking. I was like, this, this ain't good. Chloe! Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it's been ages. How you been, girl? Weldon had a chief salad. Mm -hmm. Now that's what's up. Chef salad. Like, Did I read it wrong? You called it a chief salad. Did I read it wrong? Did I read wrong? Yeah. You wet long, Mike. Oh, I keep wet long. <laughs> you long weed a wascally wabbit. Uh, that wasn't bad. <laughs> Not too much need for that voice anymore. <laughs> Imagine that. There's going to be one year where you're going to do uh, a... Um, and you know, like you're gonna reference an old Warner Brothers cartoon, and the kids are not gonna know what you're talking about. Some of the kids don't <laughs> know what I'm talking about already. It's weird growing up knowing like Tom and Jerry and, and Warner Brothers cartoons, and they don't exist anymore. Not even on YouTube. You don't see them like through like the YouTube Kids channels and stuff. It's mm -hmm. gone. Jetsons, Flintstones, even uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or uh, Batman animated series. You know which. Naturally, a little bit late, later, yeah. Uh, say what you want about Assassin's Creed and the gameplay. Mm -hmm. 
It's had some pretty good music. Yeah. Yeah. But you kind of have to, though, you know? Mm -hmm. If you really want to play into, like, building a timeline of, like, historic proportions, you have to be able to capture that. And they say Notre that. Dame. Yeah. Well, uh, not recently. Not recently, but, yeah. <laughs> no. Can't save it from a guy smoking on his uh, construction break. Well, they could, they could save it. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> So far, so far, again, I haven't seen Xbox, I haven't seen Bethesda, because we're going to be watching that later in the week for VODs. Yep. What you just Bethesda's saw winning in terms of presentation. Yeah. Tour starting on June 29th. Imagine an 80-piece live orchestra and choir playing the iconic themes from Bad. Assassin's Creed. She's so bland. You relive some of the most <laughs> memorable moments from over a decade of Assassin's Creed. Because her, her last name is Bland. Experience. Check out ACCD.com to learn more. <laughs> I mean, excellent music, great performances, goosebumps. If you like those things, I think those shows are going to be for you. But, of course, there's one show that we all came here to see. The Ubisoft E3 conference. And it's just about to start here from the Orpheum Theater in Los Angeles. Now the house Look is at the guy in the and back. Folks at home, an see idea him? What that okay, right I'm, pointing, I'm pointing at him right now. People. The blue shirt? Yeah, blue shirt. Yeah. You saw him for like maybe about five mm -hmm. minutes. He was like nothing but like not looking at the host. Yeah. Straight. He's somewhat of importance. Yeah, he looks now, like an important guy. Now, yeah. If you, if you please. If you please, I'd like to do the same for the people sitting on the ground floor. Camera guy, totally not paying attention. Well, the excitement is here, folks. We hope you're feeling the same way there. From everyone at Ubisoft all around the world, please enjoy the show. Ubi. Yay, Rainbow Six. Do you think we're going to have an update with that? Oh, yeah. They, they have an update already. Uh, I mean, it keeps updating. It's, it's, it just keeps on going. I mean, like a major update, though. Yeah. I doubt it. I don't think they're going to, like, revolutionize the game or anything. Mm. Because it, it's such a uh, eSports game now, you can't really make major changes to what it. What about Rainbow Six, Rainbow Seven Siege? Nah, I won't be today. Yeah, that's probably gonna be like five years, right? City in the yeah. World. yeah. Well, used to be. Now it's a right mess. Did that guy just kick that shield? Yeah. Like it was gonna Extremists work? Extremists are grabbing power. <laughs> Organized crime slicing up the boroughs. The war dogs are out. And freedom's a bloody joke. Is this watchdogs? I think it's watchdogs. This is our London. Yeah, because it, it's set in London. There's a new power growing. <clears throat> it's all of us, together. We're building Selfie. resistance. One recruit at a time. So what they didn't do, as compared to when they announced the watch, watchdogs one, yeah. is show really high end graphics, which are fake. <laughs> so now it looks like it's standard pre alpha graphics. You don't think this is an E3 trailer? I'm sure it is, but they're definitely not showing like high end graphics like the other one was. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah. Hey, we'll see. You know, people will still compare. True. Very true. Everyone expects it. It's a little like yeah, yeah, kind of, you get a little Detroit vibes from this. Yeah. Then I recommend you go with humans. Who can deal with it's a weird drone design. Never would have thought of that. So much drones already. Your drone problem. That's your mission right now. I'm <laughs> complying. Remember back when, like, first Watch Dogs, they Impressive were just skills. introducing drones, sure, and now they're, like, all over? Yeah. Shit In the future, Fire drones are myself. everywhere. We gotta stop this drone. We got a serious problem with drones. Addicted to adrenaline. <laughs> I know that feeling. Is that a CRTV on the bottom? What was that doing on the floor? <laughs> you know. Just well, throwing yeah. stuff away. Jimmy Shaw. No formal engineering training, but he has several mischief charges for drone expert. Whoa. The drone expert. Just slap that guy with his phone? He did. Take the call. Oh! That's a bad choice, dude. Now we find our drone Not gonna work, work on that. What the? I can blend in with this costume. Yeah, no one will suspect the one with a skull and a king yeah. crown. Did you just punch a helmet? 
and win by punching a helmet? Yeah, he, uh, he had to shake it off. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Oh. He did. Resist. I always resist that. Oh, I love that he got shot. He's not to turn. <laughs> it cloaked? What the heck? Okay. It's GTA 5 now? Yeah. What's happening? Mm -hmm. He stole a taxi. And now everyone's gonna. They Wow, they really oh want to kill this guy. Holy crap. I mean, don't get me wrong, he punched a cop, so it's okay to send in as many lethal things as possible. You don't need to send the entire city after this guy. Yeah. I mean, look at him, he's got skull head. He looks dangerous. Run, He's run. like, He's like the Burger King, dead Burger King, who's running for his life right now. Yeah, they can just look at the, uh-oh. Uh-oh, you are dead now. Ubisoft, is this really the video you're going with? Yeah. Hmm. Permadeath. I right, wonder you just swap out characters like that then. Oh. Wow. 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 Okay. And then you roll up your new dude. Oh, that's it. Dashwood. Yeah. Lovely evening, isn't it? Uh, oh, dearie. The birds here. I'm timed. What you? The corporation. Used to it in the you only have those like 14 characters and then you have to refresh. Oh, boy. I wonder. Yeah, I want to see her uh -huh. run. Of death, you'll never guess what just happened to Ian. I wonder if this is actually the characters from the previous games. They're just really old now in the future. <laughs> I was a hacker in my days. Oh boy, we used to do C plus plus and Java. I strafed in Doom back when you were wearing diapers. You ever heard of a game called Halo? <laughs> I played plenty of Halo. Oh, I beat noobs I like you. I teabagged all but the noobs. And that's my way in. This is us when we're 90. That's us now. Oh, nice robot. Go, my pretty. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's face hugger. Do you hear the music? Yeah. Oh, this is gonna I'm hack the computer. Hack the planet! Oh my god, she's got a mouse gun! Oh, she's got a cool block. <laughs> oh my god! Get him, Granny! Oh! <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm down for this. I'm sold! She gets on the bus! Yeah. Oh, that windshield popped in late. Let's get someone over there, Bagley. Chop, chop. Chop, chop. <laughs> All right, it's going my like, it's going my list. All right, uh, yeah. Then... Ready for some Watchdogs, action. what? Always. What is this? Watchdogs, what? <laughs> Three. According to the Scotland Yard records, Jimmy's sister was killed by Clan Kelly. We believe he's seeking his revenge inside Camden. Market. I do too. I want this. Camden Black Market. You know. I just to play <laughs> the old woman. Kelly's a rumor to run all, all I want to do. Goods out of the old stables. Some with fingers and toes. He's gone in there alone. He's in I do like the trouble. mixture of, of like super futuristic and like just traditional sixties mini. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Some mm. trash here. Yeah. I have an idea. Yeah. Computer delivery. Yeah, Wi Fi spots for uh for the normal phone booth. Nice. Yeah. The cinematography is too good though. Yeah, this was pre planned here. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Feels huh. like we're putting on extra weight. Nah, don't worry about it. Yeah, no one knows. What, what's 140 pounds? I mean, it is a lifting drum, so they were moving like crates of cargo. Copy that. But you think you would lie down? You wouldn't just surf it. Yeah. Someone would see it. Yeah. My oh, arthritis is, is kicking in again. Oh, I love that granny. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's wonderful. Ah, cannabis and fentanyl together at last through the miracle of genetics. That's an unusual place to have a little cannabis farm. Yeah, this was right. Like here. A few feet away from the street. <laughs> Just so what if it's behind a wall? And there's human trafficking. Yeah. You're right in the open. They're not really trying. Maybe underground, you know, maybe 
Barely. Because the drones Maybe fly over this all day long, trouble. making deliveries. No one's going to notice that. That's where the cops wouldn't expect it. <laughs> yeah. Out in the open? Hide in plain sight. <laughs> How are you going to get him out of there? Lots of Not to mention that none of these weapons are available in London. <laughs> That's cool. Oh. oh, that was sweet. These guys look a little too generic, though. What is this? Camera? Camera, yeah. So they can film their human trafficking. Oh. Oof. That was a good shot. Uh oh. No. Shoot the hostage at that point. <laughs> On your feet, mate. Well, wait, wait a minute. Are you dead sick? Hope you're sharper than you look. Jesus Christ! Someone else beat these dead sick pricks. I think picked up that uh, next gun there. I don't even know what the assault rifle gave him. Got the gas line. Okay, that one's put uh, so many bullets in that guy. How is he not dead? Because it's the future, Mike. Jesus, trained in gun kata. Oh, <sighs> That's cool that it knew that there was a car coming. Yeah, well, I mean, GPS. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> uh oh. Oh, it looks like a much worse drone. Oh, it's got missiles. <laughs> In a residential street. <laughs>I'm glad they had well, to put RGB in that well. tiniest of things right there, you know. <laughs> Thanks for following, Mature. He didn't make it. Nice. After I ate, it feels like all my coffee is gone. <laughs> you know, in my system. Yeah. Like, it's all gone now. Well, because that coffee is now eating eating the food that you ate. Oh, okay. that's right. Yeah. Did he wait till morning? Yeah. Yeah. He just switched phones. Welcome to DedSec, James. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. you recruit so, people. Yeah. Where do I go to meet the rest of the crew? Wait, does this mean Don't every character you find anywhere. has a story behind them? You. Probably. <laughs> that's not bad. Yeah. Is open to anyone. Anyone. Although it'll probably be that Welcome same cutscene with just a different person. Resistance. Yeah. That's not a bad mechanic, though. It's kind of funny to me because whenever you introduce the ability for par for characters to die. You immediately introduce the ability to replace characters as fast as humanly possible. You know, <laughs> it's like hit the random character generator. Yeah. Matt, Matt mind if uh, double checking your audio just because I know we sound okay for the mm -hmm. the stream, but just for my my own benefit. Yeah. I'm going, I'm going nuts. Thank you. So this is Watch Dogs 3, right? I thought that yeah. it's not technically 3. I thought it has a different thing. Wait so long, I should really <laughs> knock it out of the park, huh? <clears throat> it's all on how you call uh, things, things, you know? Creative yeah. Director of Watch Dogs Legion. It's Watch Dogs Legion, years, but it's technically oh, Watch Dogs 3 yes. being the third Watch Dogs. And an innovation that we are very proud of. Okay, there we go. They're not EA. They haven't Legion called it like Watch Dogs One. Yeah, to <laughs> confuse everyone. It's had a massive influence oh, on all cool. of yeah, thank you. for centuries. Today, yeah, Mike. Brexit, Mike is literally against the wall right now because he's in the back row. <laughs> I got to continue doing work. Yeah. London, it's Monday, UK, and he's drinking water, I guess, which is healthy. But history has proven time and again that where London goes. All of us go together. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't noticed the future, uh, quality London popping in and out for us on this side. The UK has become a surveillance but that's state very possible. Freedom has been replaced with fear. Just because there's so much Armed bandwidth right now on E3 streets, Day. What do you think, Matt? Deportation squads rip uh, people from their homes. E3? Your granddad yeah. is using crypto to buy right. a new kidney on the black market. <laughs> but Londoners never surrender. That's water. Their resilience and determination Smells like paint. is an inspiration uh, nail polish. for all. And they... Hmm. Are the heroes only those who know what that is get the joke? Hmm. 
In Watch Dogs Legion, it. your mission is to build a popular resistance to fight back. <laughs> that water bottle really, really shines over there, though. This means you don't just play as one hero, yeah. but maybe. This guy's got a target on him. And in Watch Dogs Legion, you can recruit <laughs> and play as any. Oh, is that considered a blazer graphic tee? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> In our game, every Londoner is fully simulated with a persistent life and relationships and anyone from the entire population can be recruited into your team. Mm -hmm. Find them, profile them, hack into their lives, play their origin mission, and win them over to your cause. I wonder if they're really simulated or if they just like, got enough data from their customer database to create all those and personalities. And they are the stars of your story. Every cinematic in the game will change depending on whether you're playing a former MI5 action hero, a 70-year-old guy who's off feeding pigeons in the park, yeah. Maybe. or anyone in between. You so can we hear it. I don't think you can hear it. I know I can barely hear it. You want to be. Yeah. Watch Dogs Legion lets you be that. You want to make a team of classic British spies? No problem. You want to be a crew of street-savvy kids from the council block? Do it. You want to go hipster, body mod, afropunk, gangsta? Awesome. What about pirate? Park? Can I be a pirate? Yeah. These ladies fucking invented hacking! Whoa! Mm -hmm. Calm down. Play as anyone is the innovation that transforms. I want I want an entire London and the crew world. full of seniors. <laughs> a bunch of seniors as Bad I grandpa. <laughs> yeah, I want it to be like um, a just a job for someone else anymore. What's that one movie? I think it's like something red. Hold on. I know it has a... I mean red? Was, is it just called red? Yeah. Yeah, I want red. I want an entire game just like red. Yeah, Bruce Willis and Morgan Freeman and... Uh, uh, yeah, right? John Malkovich. Yep. I just want... Ah, London. Had a good run there for a while. Now it's all rides. <clears throat> Bombings. Look at all the bullies. And people thrown in cages like animals. Hack the planet! London had bombings before and this. Forget the killer sure. robots everywhere. <clears throat> Killbots. So yeah, that's all gonna be shit. Uh, once again, uh, it's up to disclaimer for language back. and violence as expected. Yeah, it's video games, kids. Yeah, yeah. you know what, we, we know what's coming up. Yeah. Assistance. I know what you're thinking. Where do we start? Is that for us? Open your eyes and take it for us. Look here. Look at him. No, not him. Him. Former MI5. Duty never ends. <laughs> it can get anywhere. I want someone to say I'm too old for this you know, BS. <laughs> Classic. See ya. Let's kick those bastards out of London. It's always funny to me when when you have characters like this because because like like classic like CIA stuff, you want to blend in as much as possible, you know. Yeah. You want to hide your identity, but every one of these characters is so unique. Like yeah, I saw that guy. He had a skull on his head and a, and a party hat. <laughs> Who's carrying it? He just went that way. I saw him. There's like 400 cameras every square block of London. It's not gonna work. This <laughs> better be fucking good. And allow me to introduce you to the deadliest of the lot. <laughs> she's not old, she's experienced. Yeah. Like I love I said, it. You can recruit anyone, and I'll mean bloody anyone. That's all, that's all I want. Him, her, she I don't, everyone is a secret. I don't like the 50 caliber for simple reason. You don't so, carry that much ammo with it. This is what's gonna happen: is that we're gonna see this, we're gonna see different character models doing the same animation. Yeah, that's what this is. It's the Borderlands effect, you know? Yeah. Where where you have so many multiple characters that it becomes just random, and have you just we, hit random character creator. Have we played games so much that we've become a little jaded? Of course. Okay. <laughs> you have to be, because you. I like that. It's hard to find the joy in a game when the game is like another game, like another game, like another game. You know. You see the mechanics of it. It's like Neo in the Matrix. It's just kind of like, oh, I see where this is going. Okay, dearie. I mean, you remember uh, Grand Theft Auto 4. I do. 
Do you remember uh, going bowling with your cousin? I do. You remember going and playing darts with your cousin? I do. You remember delivering packages for, for your cousin? It was like, after a while, it's like, it's all just a mini game. You know? I hope there's more to that. Wait. No. Oh, you saw my name is Rob McElhenney. And for the past 14 years, I have been making a television show. I knew show it when I heard the, the theme song. <laughs> Thank you. But I am here today because I love games. And I wanted to express that love in the only way that I know how, save for playing them, and that is to make a TV show about them. More importantly, the people who create those games and the people who play them. So last year, I called the funniest people that I knew, Charlie Day, Megan Gans, and David Hornsby, all executive producers on Sunny, and we started talking. We realized very early on that if we were going to do this, we wanted to do it right and to be as authentic as possible, because as you all know, nobody smells bullshit like this particular community. <laughs> So we did the right thing, we partnered with Ubisoft, and away we went. It has been an incredible experience working with one of the biggest and best game developers in the world to inspire us, because our show takes place in the fictional studio that created the biggest MMORPG in the world, Mythic Quest. And we meet them on the cusp of releasing their biggest expansion yet, Mythic Quest Raven's Banquet. The show follows the team of devs as they navigate the challenges of running their game while dealing with the difficulties of modern office life. These people are truly stuck together, yet they grind it out day after day for the love of the game. And at the head of that team is my character, creative director, Ian Grimm. <laughs> like... <laughs> he can do no wrong, it's that. It's, it's like... Like most creative directors, he's he gifted, it. driven, and tirelessly dedicated to his game. And... This is gonna be on like FX. most of the creative directors that yeah, I've right. met, yeah. he has an ego the size of a city bus. I'm sure. I'm gonna get my ass kicked backstage because there's a lot of creative directors here. Joking aside, it is clear that those creative directors and the thousands of people who work on these games put everything that they can into them. They recognize that they have a tremendous opportunity so what type of game was this responsibility. Game? This is a TV show. This is a TV show about a game sure that, that is a fake game, 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 I guess? Yeah. Because that is what the community... So it's a TV show about game development? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I kind of want to see a pilot. A short... Making this show, we took small clip. Okay. So without further ado... Here you go. Grandma's boy in TV series. Oh, TV series yeah. For Apple yeah. TV Plus Where's Alex? Mm -hmm. The gaming office. So the show what is called Mythic is Quest. Mythic Quest. Some may say it's just a video game. When it first debuted, MQ was hailed as a masterpiece. Now played in 20 different countries on six continents, it's the biggest massive multiplayer role-playing game of all time. <laughs> what? Loaded Hazard was so better. <laughs> Today, they find themselves on the precipice of their first major expansion, Mythic Quest Raven's Banquet. <laughs> and it all falls on the shoulders of one man, creative nice director beard. Iron Grimm. When we think about cultural touchstones, we think E.T., Star Wars, Avatar. I hate to be the downer, but I don't think the show's going to do well. Dwarfs, the traditional entertainment business. So when we think about I legends, his name was Iron I am. Why not think Mythic Quest? True indeed. And when we think of visionary world-building artists, instead of just Spielberg, Lucas, and Cameron, why not think... Grimm. Grimm. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I, I gotta stop. What is this? It's a commercial for the game. It's a commercial for you. It's still going. Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is insane. I think like he's gonna do street magic. <laughs> they are trying too hard. That's how I feel. Nice font. Isn't this a? Uh, I know that song. Mm -hmm. Dead drop dead Murphys. Yeah. Is that what that is? That sounds about right.
No, never mind. It's hey it's there. Rainbow My Six time. Hey, my name is Parker and Taro Mackay, esportscaster for Rainbow Six Siege. There are so many exciting things to come in year four: in-game events, map reworks, playlist updates, a roster of 52 unique operators, and of course, a thriving esports scene. Starting tomorrow, you'll be able to enjoy cut. our 13th season. Yeah. Of Operation was. Sight. This major content update brings two new operators to Team Rainbow. Oh, there you go. And Warden. Yeah. After this show, be sure to stick around for an intense celebrity match starring T Pain, Little Yachty, and some of your favorite Twitch streamers for the Twitch Rivals Celebrity Show Match. That was an invite. Right now, here's a glimpse of the new season in action. Thank you, everyone, and have a great E3. Is Ubisoft over? No, no. No, right? We're just like halfway, I think. Yeah. Shh, quiet, Rainbow Six time. Hey. Did they have a snow map in the original? Yes. Okay. This is oh, Chateau. Yeah. 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 Oh! <laughs> uh oh. He fired one shot, he's reloading. Plant the bomb. There's a new guy. Warden. What? Who is this man? He's the James Bond. Oh, I love it already. He's got cool glasses. Look at him, he's so smug. Yeah. He's got the burgundy beard uh, mustache going oh, on. Oh, this guy's awesome. Mm -hmm. See, they actually show a bullet, not not the shell not flying the shell. with it. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. Cut it out. Yeah. Yeah, he's like glass. He can actually see through smoke and things. Okay, you just killed Jason. You just killed Canada. <laughs> so James Bond. <laughs> oh, I love it. So good. Clutch Royale. <laughs> Yay. Oh, tomorrow. Mm -hmm. oh, geez. Yeah. yeah, it's a little awkward. I mean, they, they, they drop new characters every like three or four months. But did they have a dedicated trailer like that? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's not that cool, because not normally Warden, but... Come on, come on. I don't like Brawlhalla, it's boring to me. Again? Yeah, it's what you get when you take on the like Adventure Time. Master. These things are whack. Wow, the what artist... You want me, bro? For real? Uh, yeah. I'll toast your buns again. Sure. Animation's weird. Why I don't like it. Different character? Yeah. It's like Shockwave Flash. Me. Oh, don't break Bemo. So they get, they're going to have uh, Jake and Finn in the game? They already have Hellboy, might as well. Yeah! yeah. Woohoo! Oh, my burrito! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! This it's kind of weird. This is kind of weird. They have been in video games before, so. Adventure time! No, nah, nice crossover. Yeah, that makes sense. Stop that big hammer. All I do is win. <laughs> Got him! Go for it, PB! Yay! She looks different. Yeah, that's uh, later in the. In the series. Damn, but I, I got to I do have met one thing is that Brawlhalla has a lot of guest characters. Yeah. Damn, look at those combos! <laughs> yeah, Mike. It's because it's new. I mean, it's free. Sorry. <laughs> Just because it's free doesn't mean everyone's gonna use it. 25 million is still impressive. Hooray! Okay. Time to grab your friends. That's all, I, it's, I literally have nothing more to add to that. What is that in the middle? Where? Rainbow Unicorn? No, in the, in the aisle. There's someone in the aisle. No, I didn't see. Someone was kneeling down and they had like the big, like had fuzzy hair and I was like, is that a... <laughs> I honestly thought it was like a leprechaun or something. Punisher the game. Test a man's worth. Just battle. When those rounds come screaming past your head, you're gonna learn if you were hungry enough. What are we doing here? Hungry enough to take that victory. It's the new Ghost Recon, I think. We're going to battle. 
with the soldiers that we used to be. Ghosts. And you better believe that they are hungry too. Once upon a time, some of these ghosts, they may have been your friends. This is rough for me because I love like Ghost Recon back in the day. Yeah. But what Ghost Recon These is ghosts, now is, is nothing like that Ghost Recon. They still serve the machine that we left behind. And right now, for the future, the world needs us. I'm honored. I'm honored to be here with you tonight. And as you head into battle, with that mean look in your eye, those bad intentions in your mind, remember this. You are the few with the courage to make history. You have the desire to take victory. You will be on a battlefield full of ghosts, but only you. I feel like Ubisoft really likes to put hoods on their bad guys. That's how you know who's bad. Yeah. That makes you wolves. Who's excited? Show of hands in the chat. Show of hands, who's excited? Who brought his dog with him? Aww. What's going on, everybody? Hey, I'm John. Good to be here. This is Bam Bam the Dog. <laughs> Thank you for having me. I love your work. Thank you. Aww. It's a real honor to be here with you guys today. Thank you. I love you too. Right on. This is awesome. This can end badly though. It's been though. really great and exciting, and uh, I'm really, I'm really honored to be here. Uh, I'm uh, enormously proud to be part of the development of this game. It was a pleasure to work with the Ubisoft team. You know, I've had uh, the chance to play some pretty strong, tough men over the years. I've uh, played a deputy fighting zombies, special, f <laughs> special forces soldier who lost everything. And now I get to play Cole D. Walker. He's a skilled former special operations soldier with his own sense of responsibility, and his own moral code. He knows how things should be run. He loves his brothers, his fellow soldiers, he is willing to do whatever it takes to complete his mission and take control of Aroa. There is no briefing. There's no backup. You will not face a group of bad guys or a criminal organization. You will face an entire army. My army. Bulls. We've got the numbers, we've got the organization, and remember, we trained alongside you, the weaponry of a fully operational special ops detachment. Trust me, there's an unparalleled so arsenal. He's technically the bad guy. Yeah, he's the bad guy. So you think you have what he's it trying takes, to see, he's like, do you think you can fight me? On your boots, <laughs> and you get ready to take on the wolves, and take on me. See you in a row, we'll be waiting. He's trying not to smile, too. <laughs> a perfect predator. He seems like such a nice guy, you know? Yeah, I know. <laughs> you think you'll last against me? I'll oh, kill you dead. A little grin. See, Ghost Recon guys are already in a better yeah, place because they don't have that huge helmet to wear, so they can't see anything that's going on. But we have the skills to even the odds. More drones. This is what I love about about games like this, you know? When they had Ghost Recon, they were grounded along like Tom Clancy rules, which was like try and blend in, use camouflage, use cover. Yeah. But now it's like, wear a bright red shirt. <laughs> you know? It's like at some point you're like, the more technology got advanced, the less they actually cared about making the characters blend in, the more they're about just standing out. Bright red shirt. 
if you're a ghost, you're trying to to not be detected. <laughs> no one will see us coming. <laughs> this red shirt will blend in with the grass yeah. and the trees. Like you, you could blend in with this crowd, maybe. <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> Being a community developer on Ghost Recon Wildlands and Breakpoint has been an incredible journey for me so far. When we first announced the game, we were very excited. And after discussions with members of our community, I today announce that with our post-launch plan, we will be bringing back our AI teammates for our solo players. Oh, did they take him away last time? <laughs> yeah, why didn't she have a dog? Yeah. Step it up. It's not that cool. With Ghost Recon Breakpoint, we want to go the extra mile with how we engage with you. So I'm pleased to announce a brand new community program that will allow you to express and share your passion. Welcome to Ghost Recon Delta Company. Hmm. hmm. Nice little expansion. That's a suggestion box. <laughs> From cosplay to streaming, fan art to forum discussions. However you show your love for Ghost Recon, there is something for you in our five different detachments. With lots of content to support you, as well as direct discussions with our studio. So head over to our Ghost Recon Breakpoint website to find out more. And hear from you soon, Delta <coughs> Ghosts. Thank you very much, everyone. Our suggestion box is open. We have no idea what we're doing. Tell us what you want. <laughs> we don't know what's going on. <laughs> we don't even know where we're at. I just got a teleprompter. Thank you, Laura. Hello, everyone. <laughs> the Ghost Recon team has always taken great pride from your passion for our games. And that passion is what pushes us to deliver the best Spec Ops experience out there. Behind enemy lines, you will be fighting the most dangerous enemies the ghosts have ever faced, constantly testing your survival skills. Yes, we can't wait to welcome you in Ghost Recon Breakpoint on October 4th. And one month before that, our beta will be live on September 5th. Yay, you, you, got, you got a beta. You can register on our website right now for a chance to participate. Ghost Reconnect Point will be live for years to come. Hi, Mike. We've got your back. I'm here. Do you got your work done? Uh, yeah, right now I have a shipping level for. Uh, I just created one, so I have to go ship. I have to go print it out and give it to our shipping guys. Free updates. Uh, and for. Inspired oh, I forgot your name, man. I forgot your name. Uh, Gigas. Mm. Gigas. 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 Yeah. Yes, yes. Like this one. I'll, sc I'll schedule GA to pick this it up. One. Oh. Oh. Sounds very Terminator, huh? Oh! Oh! No, show me more! Well, there's a new movie coming, so... True. He's ready. Will you survive your breakpoint? <laughs> all right. See you all out there. Have a good one. What a tease. <clears throat> I think the lights were bothering him. <laughs> yeah. I could tell he was like doing this. Really squinting and, and like, smiling. Yeah. A lot of blinking. Ugh. Ugh. Said the word. Uh, Damn word. No. Get out of here, oh, JC. Rainbow Six. Get out of here, JC. Mobile. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> uh, what? You don't play Rainbow Six on your phone? Uh, I'm gonna download it now. And I'm gonna be hooked on it. 
And, like, and they're like claymation versions. Yeah, they are. I think they are. Yes. They're kind of adorable. I got a shield. Where's uh, where's the hammer guy? Where's Sledge? Yeah, where's Sledge? Where's Twitch? You have to, you have to unlock him. Where's Frost? A ghost on the battlefield. No mad. Looks a lot like Blackbeard. That's cool. Cavera, highly skilled defending operator, lightly armed, massively effective. These are like characters out of Command and Conquer. Sam Fisher. What? The they, they got the money. They, they yeah. They own the rights. They own it, so they might as well put it in the game. When chaos strikes. Sam Fisher. Rally the special. So Snake. Mario Brothers. I love. The I love that squad. all these like super tactical elite squads are fighting like our distance from each other. Yeah, I get you. I get you. <laughs> I missed you. I missed. <laughs> Pre-register now. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, that's a brand new Nomad or whatever Ghost Recon game he was in before. Wildlands. This is a change. Yeah. Oh, this is Just Dance. Yeah, yeah I saw it. they were doing the pre-show, and years. that graphics came up. Ah. Ten years. It's been ten years since the first Just Dance. That's a lot of dancing. <laughs> we're exhausted. I know. But think of everything we've done. It's not for us, or for you, or you. It's for them, the players! <laughs> we danced, and Sibio and his girlfriend got married. We danced, and our friend Jane Rodriguez danced for millions, bringing together generations. We danced, and they set world records. Do you remember Carrie? Yes. Of course we do, because we were with her. Yeah. Is why we exist. We danced. Because dance is a force. There was a panda last year. And I'm dressed like Queen. More dancing. Get all, get your RGB sticks and dance. That's not the same guy. It's not. <laughs> That's a weird grab. Uh, grab his pole, please. <laughs> Look at that chain. You see that chain wall he has? <laughs> I thought those were no longer cool. No, they're not. I got a panda. Always. Mm -hmm. Did you ever, have you ever played a single Just Dance game? I don't think I have. I have. That's I've, on you. I played Just Dance 1 on the Wii, Yeah. and it was fun. I play Just Sit, Mike. That's what I do. I just sit here, okay? I don't dance. My, see, I know yeah. people love it. It's like Terry said, uh, my family loves Just Dance. I have yeah. every game. Yes, because <laughs> it's popular. It's fun. But I can only play the first one. Hmm. And then, then on, I would never be caught dead alive playing this thing. I went down the path of Guitar Hero. I went down the path of even the drum games, but never got into the dance games. Just because uh, I, the whole like crossover point for Connect, I never got Connect, I never got into uh, games that required that. Well, so. the only reason I say that is because no one wants to see my, my white self dance. <laughs> no one. Is this the people that were in the audience a minute ago? With the Ubisoft shirts? Yeah. Oh. It's it's lagging. What the hell? Whoa, easy. Yeah. A little suggestive, don't you think? All dance is suggestive, Mike. Yeah! November release! On the show! On the show! On the show! Oh, whoa, Panda. No, Panda, no! <laughs> I want to be in front. <laughs> Give me the middle. Custom pair of sneakers, if you hashtag. Yeah, so 10 year anniversary uh, and uh, I guess birthday. Pound sign, just tag birthday. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, enough about that. Oh yeah, spoiler alert for Honor is getting a spectator camera. Ooh. 
They spoiled it dur during the uh, the pre-show. Well, now you spoiled it for us, Mike. Good. What's for honor? I don't know. <laughs> about this village. A samurai came to deliver justice. You said it's a Japanese Ewok village? The darkness clouded her yep, yep. No, the yup dub. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's got RTX on. Oh! Yeah, that baby heads! The spirits of death. And Genji Years went dark. Later, we hunted the samurai in the village. We didn't believe the old tale. Not until a horror came. What? Mm -hmm. The evil from Evil Dead? What? What's happening? So, is it Haku? For our souls. That's a lot. That come on. That's that's like a frame by frame Evil Dead moment. <laughs> the camera moving around. Yeah. Well, you know, Mike, <clears throat> evil takes many forms. Yeah, takes a movable camera with that sound like a. <laughs> I'm gonna chop off your arm. Yeah, because it went bad. Got in my arm. Went bad. Be wary. I'm gonna watch that movie again. <laughs> it just happens. And she's brought a curse that will doom us all. Wow, what if our Ewoks are pandas? And they made the village. Well, they did say in a galaxy far, far away. What if yeah. pandas are aliens? Mm -hmm. Just as descendants of Ewoks. Yeah, Jedis are just samurais. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, you gotta avoid those trees. Especially in the director's cut. <laughs> Ooh. Some bad trees. A little, uh... Uh oh, that's not good. Yeah, see, his arms went bad. Yeah. <laughs> now he's gonna chop his arms. <laughs> Everything goes back to Evil Dead. At least it's left. Shoot your arm. Shoot your arm. Oh. Do something. He's... he's not. He's not using his iron sights, so it's really about him. There you go. Uh oh. Oh, there's a lot of them. <laughs> Not good. They're behind you, dude. That's where the lights come Save from. Save that bullet for yourself. Yes. <laughs> That's the easy way out. Yeah. <laughs> by the way, we don't support any uh, action like that, by the way. Yeah. This is all in fun. Jokes. There he is. It's okay. We found him. Help! Mm -hmm. My arm! Take him! I'll cover you! He's going mm -hmm. into Stacy! Contact! Head to the extraction point! I would like to see this, yeah. Oh, quarantine. There's a little update for your, for the game. Three player tactical co-op though. Hey, that'll work for us. What is that? What does that mean? Only three people. Hi, I'm Biojad and I'm the lead game designer on the next Rainbow You thought I had game. bright colored hair. <laughs> it's called Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Quarantine. <laughs> I'm part of a new team. Texan, what are you talking about? Montreal. Rainbow Six Texas isn't back. It never left. Hmm. You have to leave to be back. Co-op experience built on the foundations of one of the best shooters of this generation. What each is to the PvP shooter genre, we will be to PvE co-op. So it's a co-op mode. <clears throat> is it going to be in Siege or is it a separate game? Uh, Quarantine will test your tactical skills. And I'm assuming it's going to be in, in Siege, like uh, like COD operators. zombies. On the razor's edge. So basically, together, more zombies in games that already exist. DLC. Oh my! There's been a lot of zombies in games. <laughs> and analysis hasn't there? Uh, zombie Army Four. Uh, day, now Siege Quarantine. Mm -hmm. you step into quarantine. What else are we thinking of? What was the other game with Stay zombies earlier? Start for for your next deployment. There are a couple of VR games with zombies. And yeah. have a great E3. Because there was something something that didn't have zombies before, now has zombies. Hmm. That's okay. Let's see.
This is that game. Yeah. Uh, Division two. Yeah. Was that live action? Yeah. They, they're mixing it in. Oh. They won't get us. Maybe we were in this. Remember we played these games? We did play this game. Maybe we were, we were one of the squares. Like, yeah. yeah. Not us, but Newegg. Yeah. Yeah. Studio Mike. Props to Studio Mike. Look at his cat shirt. Oh, uh, my wife saw it. Would be all about that shirt. That's so cool. Yeah. Than to see our game come to life and to see our players, our star players, taking tremendous pride in being a part of the division. Isn't it funny that they came together for the division? Nice. <laughs> Now, if you haven't had the opportunity to play the Division 2 yet, is that irony? We hmm. would be thrilled to have you join our very passionate community because I'm happy to announce that this week only, between June 13th and June 16th, the Division I hate 2 when people call it a community. Absolutely 100% free for everyone to play. Mm. Yeah. Three days to play the game. Oh my goodness. And there's no better time to join us as we're about to release the first of our major content updates for our I don't like it. journey. I'll be honest, it's not a game for me. Washington, yeah, it's not a game for me either. I know a lot of people like it, just it's not for me. But an entire nation. Oh, he is hyping this up. Yeah. Hell yeah. See, at least, I mean, I don't, I get it. I'm not, this game's not for me. Mm -hmm. But at least he's putting a good, you know, good show for it. Yeah. Oh my god. I just remember us running around trying to find someone to shoot at. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the fun? I can't find it. Yeah. Is it in this building? Yeah. Nope. Is it outside? Damn it. And then I saw Q play the same section like three times. And I'm like, hmm. Right. We, we also were, were right. at that same place with the 50 Thank caliber you. mounted gun. Episode one coming in July, right around the corner. Episodic? We deliver to you. New main missions and a brand new game experience. So for the first time, we're taking the fight outside the city. And you'll venture deep into the woodlands to spearhead an attack on a presidential compound as you seek to bring a traitor to justice. The National Zoo is the setting of our next mission. Cool. Where you and your team will hunt down the surviving outcast leader. And this brings us to our final edition of episode one. A place called Kenley College, and it's home to an entirely new gameplay experience. It sounds like Nick DMing for us. Take it does, right? Investigation and logic to uncover the fate of a military convoy gone dark. Logitech, you. And welcome now, to the National two, uh, fall, AMD Zoo. We'll bring to you <laughs> the Pentagon. Yeah, it's a third-person shooter online. <clears throat> Wants an impenetrable but fortress. I, I didn't like that you you could shoot and guys in the head multiple dust. times. And it's secret. So <laughs> yeah. To be thrown out into the and you get a little bar. It shows you like do everything it takes. Eighty hit point damage. What lies behind the walls of this last castle. But this won't be the greatest danger you face in episode two. I'm very excited. To Stop tell spoiling you. everything, man. Our second. Mm -hmm. We're in episode two. We'll be coming this fall, bringing back intense eight-player action. Yeah. Yeah. Rock. You're, you're, right. you're bringing back and devil awesome. horns and we cannot wait to see what world records you break this time around yeah now, i don't know to our third and final eight player of action was in episode uh, was in destiny what or division one rebirth yeah. was not about bringing the world it's hard it's hard to make a big game <sighs> but the opposite the uh, ubisoft was winning because of the dog that power mm -hmm. it's starting to lose and me humanity itself is at stake mm, it's starting to lose me Agents, it's time to engage in a manhunt. But At least e E3 VR was quick. His Our shirt, shirt though, you know? I gotta give him plus five to shirt. Yeah. Oh, look at that. They got good music? Seagulls are fine. Yeah, Theo, time to get up, make a sandwich. 
Go to the restroom. That's a weird radio that was both analog and digital. <laughs> we had the training. We fought to protect the weak. He's psych. I don't know. You just shot that guy. <laughs> he was not weak. But training doesn't prepare you to hunt someone you used to call brother. He has left us no other choice. If we don't stop I love when them, guns just like float and hang on the side of your backpack. <laughs> I have a question. Yeah. Holy shit, what about that? What happened to uh, Terminator? Woo! That was his tease, Mike. Take it. For what what okay. is it for though, Gun? One last thing. It's a tease, Mike. That's how you get it. As you might know, we have been working on a movie. It will be directed by David Leach. Starring Jessica Chastain, David Lynch, and really? Gyllenhaal. Well, today, yeah. I'm proud to announce that we will be making the Division movie with Netflix. More to come on that in the future. Thank mm. you solid. very Pretty much. Solid. Yeah. Netflix is a safe, safe bet. <clears throat> it's cheaper. It's cheaper. And they make okay movies. Yeah. TV shows. Castlevania. Now the Division. Safe. It's not Uwe Bowl. So. Nice. Yeah. Oh my God. I don't think I'd play Division. Yeah. Uh, same here. Well, we played it, but no. Hello, everyone. Not for us. Yeah. Uno! I'm Brenda Panagrosi, Vice President that of was Platform good. and Product Management. Ubisoft has been creating worlds for over 30 years. We have the most diverse library of games, and we're about to make it even easier for I thought you I was to tired. play them. <laughs> I'm here to announce Ubisoft's new subscription. Why is he the woman in airplane? PC <laughs> called you Play Plus. Everyone be calm. There's nothing hey. to worry about. You just sit down. You'll be fine. We'll show you. You'll get Ubisoft. earliest available access oh. to new games. You know what this is? Including the premium edition. Oh, the Ubisoft all launcher? Additional yeah. Content. Ooh, and play. <laughs> you can enjoy the depth of our At PC Ooh, catalog. Play. That includes Plus, over Plus, you can pay twenty nine ninety nine and get over a hundred OOP games. Have all the games. Yep. You hey play Plus will yeah. be fourteen ninety nine a month. If you sign up today, oh. we'll Turn enable free access for you in door. September at launch. That's fine. Think about it too much. I now present to you. Studio Mike. Hello, people. Oh, yeah, we're back. Uh, I hope you didn't wear blue. I wore blue. I wore lots of blue. <laughs> it's like the only color I own. So we're watching Ubisoft right now. I don't play a lot of Ubisoft, actually. I, uh, I got Far Cry New Dawn for free because I pre-ordered something. <laughs> there you go. And I finally got around playing it. Ubisoft, I mean, come on. Uh, freaking Breakpoint, Watch Dogs Legion. I think they're, they're gonna clean up the next couple years. I like Siege. I know you don't like Siege. I'm glad somebody does. <laughs> well, they're coming with an expansion. Oh yeah? Yeah, they have a thing going on. I, You know my problem with Ubisoft is I love what they used to be <clears throat> more than what they are now. You know, I love like the old, Rainbow Six, I love oh, the yeah. old Ghost Recon, I love the old Far Cry, I love the old Splinter Cell, I love, you know, so many, so many of their classic, you know, game platforms, I like the way they were, I don't like the way they've become, you know? I mean, Assassin's Creed kind of, like, pioneered that whole, I mean, other than Wherever GTA, are, we want to provide Assassin's Creed was one of, like, the really early... Services. Like I'm open world, thousands of side objectives, kind of run around a cool setting Stadia. game. Oh, uh, works with Stadia. Mm -hmm. Here at Uplay. Wow. Plus, work with Stadia. Stadia is the new generation gaming platform where you can play our Stadia games. I really want to care about Stadia, device. I just can't. A special thank you to Phil It's someone else's uh, computer. Team. This is beginning yeah, of Uplay. our Yeah, it's Ubisoft's computer. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, you, you know it, Texan. I got Raven Spear at home. Raven Spear, hell yeah. Like, all the way to so Vegas. Much. Man, back when you could plan out the whole mission, and then yeah. you, you didn't even have to play it, I remember, right? You could just tell the AI to execute it yeah. if your plan was good enough. You get your sniper set up, you know, you get a, a nice good crossfire, and then you hit the, like, launch button, and you do that, like, alpha, beta yeah. games. 
And that was cool. I remember just sending out one player at a time. I would have them all stacked up in the corners and I would just like, I'm just gonna play this one guy and I'm gonna walk him through as far as I can, kill as many people as I can, and then send and the second guy. Next guy. I mean, attrition style. <laughs> it's very like Soviet of you. Yeah, yeah. it works. Stadia. Isn't that a replacement for sugar? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so is roller derby really a, a sport that gamers have been waiting to talk about? No. I can't wait. Look at those wheels. This looks... I mean... They revolutionized the way wheels work on roller skates. <clears throat> yeah, thumbs up on that one. Uh, I don't... I don't get it. Me neither. It's like you guys don't care about extreme sports. I also know this is going to open a can of worms, but... Um, I don't know any men that play roller derby. And I'm not saying it's not, it's not it, a thing. It, it's not a thing. I mean, it's physical <laughs> contact. I know it gets pretty hardcore. Just everyone I've ever met that does it. The stereotype is women. Is, is a lady. It is yeah. a stereotype. Yeah. You ever watch Solar back. Babies? And so if, if there's if there's the male roller, roller derby leagues, I'd really be curious to to know. But who yeah. who cares? Oh, is is there really a market for that? For roller, roller derby in general? Yeah. I mean, I'm sure people that play roller derby will play virtual roller derby, I guess. It's like you guys don't like roller skates or something. Yeah, when was roller skates? Yeah. I like roller blades because they're edgy and cool. <laughs> oh, so you're the roller blades guy. Oh, that's I don't know. It's the closest put your wheels in line and now you're cooler than the guys. Yeah, exactly. Wheels. You still have the same amount. You just got it. It's the closest to Rocket League. Yeah. He's got it. That's I mean, even the, the stadium style and everything we just saw is pretty kind of close to that. Futuristic, so you might like be on there. Yeah. I think you're on to something. I can't, I can't, uh, can't judge it because I've seen only 13 seconds of footage. <laughs> then you are unlike the rest of the internet yeah. <laughs> who can see something for five seconds and, and think they have an informed today? opinion on it. Yeah. I know, I don't like skating, personally, because, I saw you know, you've had any of your kids do it? Huh? Yeah. Any of your kids skate? Not yet. No. no. That's kids right. only like three. Oh, here, I want to put her on skates. You I also have a very PC steep driveway, and anything with wheels seems like a liability right now. That's just baptism by fire right yeah. there. <laughs> if you guys want, you can actually put the demo. Um, oh, really? Yeah. 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 Is that right I think I'm going to hard pass you know on that. But, <laughs> you know, good to know. You will be screaming Tier 1 gaming. We wanted to make something new. Let me remind you. I didn't say something good. That's That's fair. But I can't just leave you with Sometimes that. they gotta throw a dirt on so a wall, a though. Tape. That's a good point. Yeah, sure. trying something new is, is important. Click that download button. Rollerblading is a huge thing in the black friend. See, the see I, don't, I didn't know that. I think I need more black friends. Okay, all right. Um, yeah, I'm definitely getting Rocket League vibes, though. Yeah. All right, here's some gameplay. Okay. Yeah, the the streaking neon lines that pass the play, uh, follow the players, very Rocket League-ish. Yeah, but, uh, the high walls. High walls going the, you know. Though I will say I'll probably have more control of the ball, because whenever I play Rocket League, I have no idea how to hit it. Yeah. Yeah, you really gotta, like, understand the physics. Yeah. That's a plus. Yeah. So I think, honestly, if, if it is sort of following the same vein of uh, Rocket League, it could mm -hmm. probably, I mean, Rocket League is pretty, you know, big yeah. right now. This could probably hit high numbers. These roller in the, in the name, though. What they call it, Roller League. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, is it? What was the, the, uh, the shooter game that was like Rocket League that was using like the Fortnite so first, font. I want to say thank you to... Was it like a Chinese ripoff game or... No, no, I think it's, it's another country. Oh. So first I want to For say once. thank you to all the Ubisoft teams around I have no the world idea how to say his name. Your talent and energy. I have no idea what he's saying. You know, Guimont? Great show. Yeah, Guimont. Well, Ubisoft is French-Canadian, so most of dudes are... French is a great language because so you just take the first syllable and you pronounce that and then you take the rest of it and you just and mash it into the roof of your mouth. Yeah. And Ubisoft, <laughs> our intention is to create games that will make you stronger and happier in your life. Mm -hmm. 
When you play, you be no, I'm with you, Tier 1 Gaming. Uh, will, I like to buy things and then own that thing. And not have a license to own it that they can revoke people. at yeah. any time that, that suits them. I was talking to uh, to JC back when New right Now from last week, and I told him, I was like, uh, digital services, that means you don't own your game like half as much as you would if you bought it somewhere else. Like, yeah. Thank you for your If you bought it on a, an Xbox Arcade store, you own the game, you download it, you can play it, cool. But if you download, if you did get the service and you sort of cloud it, if you don't download it, you don't own it if the license run out. Yeah. Well, that's like, that's a weird spot for me and Steam because I, I I'm so used now, to Steam now. I love Steam, but I've also had games just disappear. You know, and they've had games like that where the licensing changed or the company decided not to be anywhere anymore. Mm -hmm. Game just, just just leaves your library and you're like, well, you don't really own it anymore. It's not like a physical copy of a game where you could still install it at some point in the future, possibly, you know? Now it's like, well, it's, it's either there or it's not. And no one's going to tell you that we took this game away, you know? It just disappears. I mean, do you know, did you see if the files were disappeared? I, Over the last well, 10 years, I think uh, the I last game was like Deadpool be because they pulled the Deadpool game out to the Steam store. Oh, yeah. And so you can't install it anymore. So if you've installed it, then you would be okay. But if you didn't install it, it just leaves your cart, you know? Yeah. And then because like any of us, we have like 1,400 games in our in our Steam library. We don't, we don't see them day by day wondering if they're there. Yeah. Yeah. Of our history, mythology. Hmm. The stories of the it just, at the very least, you can download them, and you can always, you know, back all those files up, and you know, if it comes down to it, you could crack them so you can still yeah. play the game. I think that's what um, what gaming um, uh, historians do. Yeah. So the record, record keepers just sort of download it, keep the raw files, make sure it's runnable on some sort of cracked version, and then go, well, uh, we're going to keep it now. Well, that's, that's the balance, though, is it, you know, if you haven't done that already, then you have to try and find a way to do that. Yeah. If that still exists somewhere, or if it is still functional in the same way, you know, even like, like most of us got out of cracks because of viruses, because they just kind of dropped off the world once, once games got cheap, you know? Right. What, what is it? Oh, well, I don't know about that, Dennis. I mean, you hear about the Novo in the in the news all the time, and I forget what game it was, but but the but this, hackers cracked it before it launched. This is beautiful. Yeah. This looks nice. Return to the gods. Oh, we got some Greek. That reminds me of one of my exes, whatever that was. This is very Zelda. Yeah. Breath of the Wild style. How to Train Your Dragon, the game. Oh, are you Hermes or something? Cause I saw some wings in your, on your feet. Might be Athena. Maybe. Oh damn. Okay. All right. I mean, Odyssey is a good game. Wrecked. Wrecked. Oh, it's like Double a- Double wrecked. It's like a paint version of uh... Gods and Monsters. God of War. <laughs> Like, God of War, PG. That's what it looks like. It looks like a, uh, a painted version of God of War. Hello, everybody. Now we're outside. Let this sink in. Let this sink in in here. Hello, everybody. Oh, it's got cool Thank Ubisoft you so chains. I hope you had a great show. That's it? But this is just the beginning, guys. This is just the beginning. Thank you, thank you, thank you. These guys must be so miserably hot this outside. Just the beginning. <laughs> yeah, and those computers, too. <laughs> Live from the Pro Zone, where we have an incredible... All right, guys, so the next stream so looks like uh, Ubisoft is coming to an end, but the next stream is AMD's keynote at 3, so we have an hour to kill. Yeah. yeah. Um, Did it go work? <laughs> no, I mean... <laughs> One of my assignments today is to watch the AMD keynote so I can write an article about about oh, it. There so. you go. Oh, we got a nice big TV for that. Yeah. This is kind of in the okay, rivals okay. now. Yeah. Yeah. So they're they're gonna do some and some siege showdown. Indeed, so Maybe by osmosis again, I can uh, reminder, get some 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 skills. Hmm. We will. Uh, but though, if you're gonna write some here? notes about the AMD keynote, Mike, we're probably gonna get in your way. How long until the end? Uh, how long until the next stream? Um, we're actually not gonna stop streaming. Hmm. You're stuck with us all day. Yeah. So yeah. we're gonna this keep on we're gonna keep on going until the AMD keynote starts at three. And then we'll watch it, and that'll be the end of the show yes, for today. To like, do we have, do we have snacks? Um, Not in here, just, also, just drinks. Uh, Sorry. Yeah. Mentioned, drinks or snacks? No, drinks or snacks for the kidneys. 
Uh, you could I run. You still have time. Why not? Let's go for sure, you have like an hour. Yeah. Happens. I'm gonna go to our, our very sad new egg vending machines. <laughs> By the way, I saw Chloe talking about uh, the head of the Ubisoft yeah. comparing him to John Lithgow. <laughs> now the moment Order a you pizza. have all been waiting for. Yeah, but I, I ate lunch. Teams. And I don't want to be Team that much one. of a Team fat Payne, make some noise, everybody! Huh. Huh. We got T-Pay, we got ammunition, we got b Okay, what do we, we all think? Alexia, Chat, let's go for you too. What do we all think about gaming things bringing rappers in? Because, like, I kind of remember BlizzCon had DJ Khaled. <laughs> and, I DJ Khaled. And no one likes DJ Khaled. Um, but, like, everyone, everyone, I remember that performance, and no one was impressed, no one was enthused. Uh, T-Pain you know, was no up there deal. basically be there begging too, people cool. to just It'll react win, to his oh, presence shit. in any way. So you're gonna win. And and uh, you're yeah, right, sure, Tier One. Like T-Pain <laughs> is is right, admittedly so way cooler than I think he's a confirmed gamer, Mr. Khaled. Everybody make some noise for T-Pain. What's that mean, though? You know, I mean, I hate to say it that way. Oh, like what's confirmed gamer? But we're all gamers here. Yeah, you know. But but would we be would we take on an esports team? No, we would lose. We would lose a horrible mesh you know and even okay. even if we if were real serious right. about it we're still gonna lose Come you know you so so what's, what's it's it's like um are we saying that t-pains can do that is, is he that good i don't know i don't know well the question is yeah. does he play enough where he thinks he's that good yeah. and that makes you i feel like that sort of gives you a pass because at that point you're like you know what i play a lot of this yeah, yeah. i can take them on uh, yeah, like, that like, sort of puts a pass on me. You're like, all right, you play enough. I'll, I'll, I'll use this example you know, from Mike because you know, he loves it so much. I'll take the one win it, it's like Jack Black suddenly becoming a streamer. You know, he's well, writing on his Jack Blackness good, more than he is on on writing on his streaming for, ability. I mean, he's strictly staying away from any competitiveness in actual gaming. Yeah, Jack Black is a is a crazy person. Yeah, and I love him, but he's a crazy person, and I think he just. Just oh. something he wants hey, to do. Yeah. You know, he's, he's old and, and <laughs> right. you know, your places, guys. I think he wants to do it to connect with his kids. I heard that at one point. Yeah, yeah. yeah he definitely, with his son especially. So, so, you know, yeah, I just, I, I feel bad when, when it's, when you're really just, like, have a celebrity match when... Oh, that's Lil Yachty. Okay, I've heard so the name Lil Yachty, but I didn't know that's who he was. T-Pain playing for St. Jude. Cool. I love it when, regardless of the event, if it's got something positive behind it, that's, yeah. that's a plus. Always. Yeah. Always. And we is is T Pain Black out, Jesus? Is that what you're asking there, Terry Mike? I'm not theologically qualified to answer that question. It's going pretty good, Leon. Thank you so much. He doesn't have the sandals. Get this Twitch Rivals event underway. I'm Wavepunk. I've got the hair. Are you This is your home court. This is Rainbow Six. Jesus is usually depicted with with long hair. We're gonna be showing off two brand new offerings. He's doing things for for charity. We're gonna be showing off the new map cafe. Yeah, Jesus did a lot for charity. He did. Map cafe does cafe does dance. He did. Um, it, now, I don't have an encyclopedic right knowledge of T-Pain songs, for but for the I feel like some of them have slightly less than Christian messages. Again, not theologically to qualified to Phantom really Phantom get into today. this, and we get to so play just ignore Phantom me, especially right if you're offended. Yep. I like the setup where they have a monitor in front of them, their station, with a close-up of their face, as well as them being right there. Oh, yeah. I wonder if they can Switch it to gameplay. Yeah, to see what each player is doing. That is a nice setup. Better, so the yeah. yeah. The first team to win I'm getting ideas. Yeah. Win. We'll <laughs> I like these gaming uh, AOC monitors here. here. They're pretty so fancy. That'll be pretty interesting. I think I'll keep up with that heat outside. You, you, got, you yeah. got a favorite for me? You got a team that you think is going to maybe take it this time? Uh, they, well, I was originally rooting for see North America see a because, as was correct, yeah, they don't have control. anything. I saw two keyboards at one station. Probably Bikini Body. Rex versus Tiger Direct Rex. NA doesn't win anything. We got them in a bag. Now, bring in the fire. No, I got no. cheer for you. Oh, really? Okay. Okay. I like it. I think, I think T-Pain's team's got some. We saw their Tiger Direct team. Yeah. 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 I think I would, we would They're have a, a rough time with Ranger, maybe. So yeah. I'm excited to see you stream to it. Like, uh, uh, as much as we do. Ever yeah. so quickly. Yeah. more. What sort of things are you hoping our players bring out? They definitely have a lot more hours. We're playing for fun. We're playing for entertainment here. What sort of stunts are you hoping we see somebody pull? Well, we've got the Russian Badger in the game. We've got Kitty Bot in the game. So I'm imagining that there's a little Yachty. I think it was Little Yachty. 
picking up the controller. Uh, I would just say play I, for fun. I feel weird when, content, when I'm watching someone play like Rainbow Six and they switch back to the, the controller. Let's so, so, I mean, right? It kind of means that they had cafe before, uh, and then they closed down. They had some problem in the kitchen. You know, the problem where you're playing it on the console. Yeah, the console gamer that just showed up and they're like, well, here's your PC. Yeah, and they're like, what? I'm trying real hard to rein in the PC elitist right now. Uh, but you know, it's visiting it. It's a facility uh, so for that, that, those reps, not saying that those yeah. reps versus Razor reps. I don't care about the, you know, they can have as much beef as they want. How many three story maps are there? I don't care about those reps. There's a couple of Amazon names I see on, on Rainbow Six Siege, and I usually destroy that guy. His name is like Amazon Prime or something, and I'm like viewing Dennis. So yeah, yeah, I'm personally going after that guy. Does it does it awkward when you're on the same team? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, oh, hey, 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 how you doing? Yeah, can, you, can you pick me up? I'll yeah. pick you up. Yeah. Yeah. Like, do, I, do, I, do I revive? One of the most dynamic shooters on the market right now. <laughs> That's today. funny. But we also have two new people. Uh, you know, actually, since you mentioned DJ Kelly, uh, Mike, did, yeah. did you hear that? So he apparently released a new album. Oh, no. And it went, I think since like no other albums were being released at the time, his hit number one. And it hit number one for like three days. Okay. And then it dropped to number two because a new album was released. And uh, he got on record. He was like, "What the hell, everyone? What you don't love me no more?" It's possible. And even like I was listening to it, uh, like on K Day, and people were like, "Damn, that's crazy." Alex, just, <laughs> just <laughs> share the love. That's just the business, dude. Who cares? That's just the business. And no, no one ever loves DJ Khaled. No, no one does. Other side of the operator pool here. It's it's easy to be number one when you're the only one running. Right. Exactly. His ability is he has a little watch. Activate it. You so I've still got about 40 flashes. minutes, guys, so in the keynote. Mm. And is able I'm going to do, a lot of pushes do snacks, snacks real quick. Have Snack break. All right, well, well when you get up, I'll get back in that seat, and I'll end up changing it to uh, AMD. Right, so they have they have controllers. They can use the seat back, but... Yeah. I'm not entirely certain. That's a weird controller setup. You know what's kind of weird? Like, they're like, oh, fuck. Like, they do everything almost except call people now. Like, they still call people, but you don't use them for that. And I was like, I feel like watches are going that same direction. But deep in on your screen there, they are going to be... His chain is so big. I thought it was, like, a phone. All these individual streamers are streaming their own perspectives, too. Yes, is, you know, in normal Twitch Rivals events. This is a Twitch Rivals event, which means every single one of our competitors is live on Twitch right now. Use the Twitch Rivals <laughs> extension to go check them all out. I'm sure they would all love it. That, that is kind of cool. Deep Pain and Little Yachty, yeah, Little Yachty, excuse me, also are streaming their perspectives live on Twitch. So Do we have to switch to over at that to, to, see to, to the indie play, stream because it's going to be a different channel? Yeah, it's going to be a different channel. All right. so, so right now I'm looking I'm for uh, get this one a direct link. And we'll yeah. be getting there as soon as we possibly can. But there's been so, dude, this has been such a cool and day. Yeah, so no, it's fun. That new Press Rainbow release, Six squad, follow. Elite Squad game. Yeah. That looks pretty dope. And also quarantine two. I Maybe on their official YouTube channel. Let's we'll see that. There was a bit like on there. Oh, was there? Outbreak when yeah. The zombie uh, just a couple of seasons ago. Yeah. I want to play it, but I, you know, uh, uh, yeah. Facebook. Now. I, I need. Not. They've done that to us before, though. I'm going home. They had, going they had Champions. like webcast uh, and, as and Facebook. As possibly can. That game instead. looks insane. I can't wait to get into it. Yeah. But here's all the competitors on your screen. Again, every one of them live on Twitch right now. I'm sure you can go root for them and see their perspectives. This is one of the coolest things yeah. about Twitch Rivals. The thing that makes Twitch Rivals different from other that sorts of video game competitions is that everyone's lives, which means every single perspective. I have a PC cooling related really question. How hard is it to install a really uh, water cooling system for my processor? In competitive environment? Uh, if you're doing an all in one, it's just moderately uh, yeah, difficult just because it's like hard well. to ring you're, all the cords. Not cords, but like there, how short the cords may be. But if you're doing a custom cooling system, that's difficult. If you're doing a custom cooling loop where you're actually bending your own pipes, that's a lot of work. And I don't think even a lot of guys here have trouble with it. Yeah. Uh, the the all in ones, it's literally just just a heat sink that sits on top of your CPU. So if you've mounted uh, mounted a CPU heat sink before, it's about the same four four screws, whatnot. And then and then a couple couple tubes running back where it's going to you know either a single fan or a dual fan solution. So so basically you mount your mount your CPU block and then you figure out how to put your fans in in a, in a good configuration for your case. That's probably the hardest 
hardest part is figuring out if it'll fit in your case or not. You've got two rounds on but attack, as far as uh, mounting, it's, it's really not because any more complicated than your standard heat seek fan. It couldn't be Facebook, could it? Are they actually doing a Facebook thing? It's very possible. That's horrible. Mm -hmm. Any of you guys are watching the uh, AMD keynote and you know of uh, a Twitch or uh, another location outside of Facebook? Yeah. Is, uh, um, the URL. I think a little bit of so we went the best. Switch sides because of the fact that they're gonna oh, need to someone on Discord right. message me uh, if go. they have a link to the uh, the keynote. I'm excited to get this I appreciate started. it. Uh oh. And then we'll get it booted up here, and we will go. Uh oh, we have to. What's he typing? That's them. We're, That's we're, them. What are we talking yeah. about? It's not us. Just, just starting up the game. Let's do right it. In. Let's play some Rainbow Six Siege. All right. Let's see where we go. Play in the bomb mode. I like that you get individual about team names. Some, you know, more towards pro settings here, but we're not yes. getting any bands. No, so I mean, there's uh, that. I wonder if they're doing the full. Oh, here we go. Is this it? Yeah, it's pick phase. Build where essentially you're going to be playing with. That'll probably work. What's coming to ranked next season? Stream live 15 minutes ago. In the top left corner of your screen. Beans. And still people waiting. Round one. Let's go. Didn't miss it. Maybe they just hit the button by accident. Yeah, maybe. I don't know if it's going to be. Oh, like they got no. Is no one is no one picking the the warden guy? Because I think he's uh he's defense. It may be too early too. Yeah. T-Pain gonna rock the Nomad, but Lil Lexi's on the Sledge. It's probably a little early. We team T-Pain this round. I want to see the Nook win. I want to see Sledge walking through. So it looks like around two two forty five they're gonna get kick everything off. So that, that's kind of yeah. fifteen minutes to to show time. That's about right. average. We're good then. Yeah. Starts at 4.45. So, yeah, 45. Uh, we're in a different time zone, I'm assuming, George, but uh, thank you. Yeah, like I kind of figured. What are you doing? That's pretty smart. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to go the restroom. I'm sorry, Ruby, long test. I'll be right back. All by myself with Siege. I'll take it. You know Siege? Yeah. No, they're, they're playing smart. They, they, uh, they knocked a hole in between two bomb sites, which is, you know, pretty good. Starting with the recruit. So this is actually one of the changes that we see to Cafe. I always love to watch other people play. I kind of wish it was uh, first person and not like, like staring down. Because I'm curious to see how, how these guys run in battle. Like right there, he, he was totally looking the wrong direction. <laughs> no one's going to be that way. Uh oh oh. Careful. They're just in. They're in the building right now, and T Pain is looking for his first kill. He's gonna be having to do some heavy lifting. Here. Oh. Doesn't pick the best opportunity to reload. Oh, he's gonna go. There it is. Got Xander. Even two v two, and all this action taking place in the first forty-five seconds. Ah, dropping fast. And it's just bikini body left alone. T Pain still up. Can he get the final kill? Oh, I didn't realize. Bikini, bikini body being careful. Gotta sneak around. Lots of patience. You can see in the bottom right hand corner the diffuser being no, they're diffusing. The objective here. It's oh. in the corpse of the Russian badger. Hey, he's giving him a pillow. There you go. No, he uses your sleep just fine. And now Bikini Body has to work against this timer. So in the top of the screen you'll see. No, they're looking the other way. Tick away. Two frags that will need to be found for Bikini Body. He's Oof. Make it in. Is that sledge you mentioned of little Lexi? She's gonna cut Bikini down. Oh, oh, pain. I we'll take the <laughs> He's doing a victory lap. <laughs> he's going all the way around. <laughs> Feeling pretty good. Thank you very much. Let's go to round two. <laughs> so hey, Anthony. Shown right away that with the Finca pick from and there was their idea was to just get into the site as quickly as possible. And when you've got a shotgun in the hands of Russian Badgers recruit, well, you're going to do an awful lot of damage up close, and that's exactly what was intended, and it worked out quite well. I worked out pretty good. Bikini body left no. all on his lonesome. He did his best. He tried. Little Lexi and Russian Badger doing the majority of the frag. 4:45. A fuse pick here in round number two. We're actually going to see the new, the second. It's cool to see the new bombs what everyone's bad, using because a lot of people are, do have their own headsets, have their own keyboard mice combos they want to use. In its previous iteration, only had three sites. Now it's got. I wonder if if you're already at that that level of sponsorship, if if they have to pick their own hardware. Plant that diffuser or defend. Against the attackers coming in. Nobody want the free T-shirts. Oh, I like to I like to leave that one door open there and, and have a sight on on the staircase. Get your E3 2019 T-shirts. They all came back. For those that are unaware, that's Rook, as you mentioned. But this map is real good for peeking too. Provide some bulletproof armor. 
just to be able to give people a little bit extra a peace of mind, I suppose, when they get shot at. I need to get some good shots from second story Finishing windows. Just a reminder to everybody, we're playing for charity today. St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital and Girls Who Code. Sneaky. We should be, play, you should be receiving some portion of $50,000 determined by the results of this If you match. like a first-person shooter, Zero Six is a pretty good game. A the nicest turn. thing about, about this game over just about any other game that's out there but there's no is you can shoot through a lot of the walls. No there's a lot of, of thinking in three dimension. You know, we're, we're a traditional plan, you know, run and gun, shooting rockets isn't going to work. Here, you actually think about like footsteps and if you could send out a drone or if you could change it up, mix up the, the battle itself. As well, but not the newest anymore. I don't know if this is a spawn peak. No, it Ooh. actually just looks like once Ooh. again, Team Pain trying to send right us there, right there. early. Oh, Russian Badger with the shield out, not going to be using any of his possible <laughs> explosive charges from that uh, cluster charge. He'll just keep moving on in. Bikini Body oh. finding his second kill. Oh, wait, Nobody is able to get away from this MP5 as he guards down the stairs okay. over my reading room. Bikini Body, the only one to find any frags. Oh, oh no! <laughs> well, we got that hurts. It's our boy, the Russian Badger, the last alive, and he is Modern Combat 5. You know, I think I dropped out of Modern Combat like around 3, and I haven't been back in. It's going to stop most of the damage in the PMM pistol that he has in his hands. It packs a real punch as well. Yeah, but they know where he is. He goes for a long flank. Now he is a I hate shield players. An awful lot of I'm like, he also moves at the slow I'm speed, back. But he still has two of his abilities left. So his gadget essentially is a grenade launcher that so, yeah. fires these T Pain team. Ready up to lead. Oh, T Pain winning? Yeah. Is he, uh. Is he. Oh. Bikini body having a great hmm. round. Damn. Yeah. win. Now it's even. Team Yanni. That is correct. We'll see if is he pulling his weight? Damage. Yeah. It's not doing bad. Strategy was just high I mean, most it's tough to tell when it's a bunch of different celebrities, you know? Yeah, true. Because I don't, I don't know, like, if this is if this is their game or if they're just all playing this game, you know? Because it is, there is a definitely learning curve for getting into Siege. There is. It, it feels like it takes a, a good, like, three months of playing it before you kind of understand where, like, which directions to turn. <laughs> Russia what to do? Is my favorite person in the world right now. We got Tachunka coming on out, locked in and ready to go. Who's T Pain playing? Uh, affectionately referred to as the Lord. The Lord. And if you're running the Tachunka, you gotta run the shotgun, preferably suppressed. And we'll see. So even up right now, one to one, huh? Yeah. It does appear <clears throat> to be. <laughs> Yeah, you know, once again, to anyone who's just joining us right now, we uh, in the morning watched. Uh, E3 VR. Uh, that was like an hour conference. Felt actually a lot quicker. They announced a lot of games. Yeah. Small and large. Uh, afterwards, we caught up with PC Gaming Show, and that in itself was fairly interesting. You know, we saw some some more trailers for um, what was it? Uh, Vampire Masquerade. Um, actually, I wrote down some of the games that caught our attention. <laughs> Moon, Moon of Madness, yeah. Songs of Conquest, Chris Tale, and uh, Val Ferris. I have to look up those again, yeah. but uh, those are some names that caught our attention. In the E3 VR type of dealy, we saw Battle Wake, which is like a pirate VR game, which is fairly interesting. Asgard's Wrath, which is a uh, North Mythology VR, you know, hand-to-hand -hand combat type of thing. Rogan the Thief in the Castle, a stealth VR game, and then Abe, which you have more knowledge about, which was like yeah. if robots met Saw. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a it's a real good short film if you get a chance sit down and watch that. It's definitely worth watching, especially for for you and and uh, Black Hat because yeah, it's it's very good, like you know, a short horror story. You know, do we do like horror films? Yeah. Uh, and then we watched the Ubisoft uh, panel, which uh, to be honest was I, I felt like it was a little lackluster. Yeah. You know, yes, Just Dance came out. Um, what else? I, I think the only thing we were really excited for was playing as a granny during uh, Watch Dogs Legion. Yeah. <laughs> that was amazing. I would just, just the fact that she actually is like a grandmother. I'm oh, sure they have Claymores. I don't have Claymores right now. Yeah. Actually, Ubisoft's kind of into the badass grannies uh, in Far Cry 
New Dawn. There is a, uh, a partner you can recruit, and she's, grandmother? and she's this little old lady with a with a dragon off. <laughs> it goes around sniping people for you. So, I don't know, maybe, maybe somewhere, someone at Ubisoft has the thing. They're including everyone. That's great. Yeah. Agreed on Ubisoft, watch Watch Dogs was the only thing I'm excited about. Yeah, that's, yeah, it's really the only thing I wrote in my notes here was that, like, that's the one thing that stuck out in my mind. Everything else was boring. I'm going for Breakpoint. Breakpoint? Mm -hmm. I never, I never know until I see gameplay. You that's know? true too. And that's, mm -hmm. and that, that's the the curse of E3 is a lot of it's like that promotional trailer or that cutscene until you actually sit down and see what the game truly is about. You really don't know. You know, and, and when they announced Breakpoint, they did a, a long, long gameplay trailer for it. Yeah. The one thing that we can say about uh, about Watch Dogs is that it didn't pull Watch Dogs 1, meaning like they didn't up the, at least for as far as we can guess. It didn't look like super high-end graphics for the pre-alpha yeah. uh, trailer that they showed in gameplay. It looked like it was kind of rough. I wonder if they're gonna, if they're purposely gonna do it this year, rough, so that people do cut those videos later and be like, mm, look at how much better they are, you know? Like, like they finally you know, realize that's what people are, are concerned with. You know? Did we play a lot of Watch Dogs in this room? No, we, uh, when when the show was uh, created, Watch Dogs Two, I think, was already out. Yeah. Um, and uh, we didn't, we didn't, we never played it since it wasn't relevant yeah. at the time. I just mean, have you guys? Oh, oh we played it. No, no. I played Watch Dogs 1, mm -hmm. um, but I, I don't think I played a lot. I think I played maybe about four or five hours. Yeah. I know the, the campaign is like maybe a, a 40 hour game. Yeah, so. same. I started it, and I, I don't hate it. I didn't love it. I just couldn't it, sit through the whole thing. I, my yeah. time was, was valued el elsewhere. Mm -hmm. Not to a, say it was, you know, if I had no game to play, I wasn't going to play it. But, yeah. That's the that's the biggest curse of, of 2019. In fact, since 2018, 2012, is there's just too many games. You know, you, there's no way to really say, I'm going to keep playing this game for years. True. Every, I, I think each of us probably has one game that's our throwback game that we go back to, you know, mm -hmm. but then we're playing a different game every two months, you know? Especially here, we're playing a new game every every week. Yeah, weeks, almost every week. Oh, yeah. Game. yeah. But when it comes down to like games that I play at home, I I don't I honestly don't have time to go back to it, and it's not. I, I don't want to put this the right way or wrong way, like I just did. You know what it is? It's like if I want to play a game that has a forty-hour campaign campaign yeah. or longer. Then it has to be something interesting enough where I gotta go. Well, every other game that's coming out during this time frame, because it takes me longer than a, like a month to play those types of games. Yeah, yeah. I have to ignore, it. and I have to sort of like Cyberpunk yeah, like 2077. I know I'm gonna ignore a lot of games. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah so I know whatever it's coming out afterwards, like maybe a month or two afterwards. Mm -hmm. I'm not playing. It's going on hold. Yeah. Well, that's that's the problem for me is is the timing to play the game and, and for Watch Dogs particularly. I kind of feel like they're they're trying to be cool and edgy with the hacking, but at the end of the day, it's just another style of Grand Theft Auto to me, mm -hmm. you know. And and yeah, you got you got different these little kind of you know gadgets or gimmicks, but it's not enough to to really reel me in to be something that I want to play over a Grand Theft Auto. Well, you said the keyword gimmick. I mean, yeah. I'm not trying to slam on the hard work these people are doing, but yeah. It's it's their gimmick for the Grand Theft Auto style game. There's nothing inherently wrong with that. People enjoy it, but it is what it is. That's, that's like it's like Batman. You know, Batman has a cool you know thermal vision mode or detective yeah. mode. Why why would you ever turn it off once you turned it on? Once you unlock that, you know, well you know I got thermal vision. There's no reason for me to ever fight these guys. You know, fairly. Right. I'm gonna do it in the dark and, and constantly win. You know, and that's with a lot of games that that happens where you find out that little that little thing whatever it is unlocking the game or this is the ability and this is this is what separates this game but it's also the key to to basically winning every game that point forward you know and i think that's that's where they that's where they level out you know i i like rainbow six because it's not it's not like any other game out there in the sense of the way that you can shoot through walls the way that the gadgets work yeah it's very unique and it's it, Did it's we miss cool. That? Lindsay's yeah. calling out that Liliani dropped the end bomb on stream. Oh no! I guess we missed it. Yeah, I, 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 it's definitely not loud enough for me to hear it. That's fine. I, I actually lowered it because. <laughs> yeah. uh, 
It's something that we're not really paying attention to yeah. fully because yeah. we're waiting for AMD. Yeah, that's so a bad move. It's 2:40 right now, uh, or at least on Pacific Standard Time. So we should. I mean, about five minutes. Maybe yeah. the stream should go live for AMD. All right, the starting soon thing. I think they're because they're two v two right now. They're probably gonna end it pretty quick here on this next match. Oh no, I, I mean. I would think that Ubisoft wants to keep everyone watching them for as long as they can, right? Yeah, but this match will be over. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. I don't know if they're going to have a rematch. So or... who are we thinking, Yanni or Payne? Yeah. I know Team Payne. Yeah. That's a good question, Walden. Actually, it's something I wanted to ask, too. What do you guys think? Any predictions yeah. for AMD? Uh, I mean, only basic stuff. We'll see more about Navi. It's kind of... Yeah, I don't know with NDA if I'm allowed to say anything until they say it. <laughs> oh, you got, some, you got some insider information. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, I, I expect to hear something. We I actually, honestly, that, that's a good answer. We're expecting to hear something. Yeah, I. I mean, I, I have to admit, AMD is knocking it out of the park this year. They yeah. have so much going on right now between Ryzen alone. between Ryzen, between consoles, between cards coming out. They just. Whatever happens next is probably just going to be gravy for them at this point, you know? And, and I'm happy to, to hear whatever it is. T-Pain, that was a little dangerous. Little ASMR, Theo. I mean, so if you guys know where to look, uh, videocardswithaz.com, they, they got a leak. They got a leak of a chart that had some uh, RX 570, or not 570, uh, RX 5700. They added a zero. Um, <clears throat> some stats for that card, and my prediction is that we will we will see those stats confirmed. Okay. So we're thinking more card than GPU. Uh, yeah. Sorry, card than uh, CPU news. Yeah, CPU Ryzen 3000. That was that was Computex. That was their whole thing. Yeah. Uh, it makes sense. We're probably not going to see much more of that. It's it's just it's uh -huh. just a matter of of of. Uh, what's it called like just options now? You know, yeah. They have, oh, what's up, Chris? Hi, buddy. Hmm. Oh, Chris. Nice. So See, I've seen your name on the article sometimes. <laughs> yeah, we got uh, two of the new egg writers here. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Well, I mean, we'll, we'll raise the volume when it comes down to the empty keynote. You dropped your food? No. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Don't judge me. Remember, you're the closest to the camera. They'll oh, know. <laughs> I wish you were eating something green so they wouldn't see it at all. They're <laughs> disappearing. That's a little dangerous. He shot near the bomb. Yeah. Are you supposed to be doing that? Yeah, it's fine. That bomb's totally safe. Only if you have cojones. Yeah. Dang, just one. I know, because I got mad. Like, people got mad when I shot the hostage. Oh. Well, obviously, I don't shoot the hostage. Did you just dab? Did you just dab? Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say the yeah, same thing. Some dabbing just occurred. You know what I love? I love it that as a as a chubby guy, I love that T-Pain's also a little bit chubby. Yeah. It makes me feel better about myself. Yeah. I mean, he's normal sized. <laughs> More to love. Yeah. I like that normal people can live in this world, you know, and work in this world. Not a... <laughs> I feel bad because when we went to like like 16.9, 21.9, and to like high def, it's like, oh man, I, I don't think like average size people can ever work again. You know, like you have to like be like super thin, <laughs> right? You know? Frighteningly thin. Oh, so this goes to the extra round. 4K just shows every single roll you have. <laughs> It's like, oh no. I feel bad if it, if you were like if you came into the, the industry in the nineties and you know you're maybe you're not attractive and then and then it's like boom, here's high def, you know, here's eight K. It's like, oh, oh I, I, I can you just you know put a little bit of gloss on that shot there? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Blur it out a bit, please. Yeah. You'll rely on a teammate to be able to get you. Another Yachty with the frost. These put some cool traps in some cool places. All right, so I'm keeping an eye out on uh, MD's uh, YouTube channel. I'll yeah. let you guys know when, when cool. something goes goes live. And here I am complaining about being fat while stuffing my face <laughs> full of Rice, Rice Krispies and Cheez-Its. I, I didn't say nothing. Yeah. Listen, the best reason to date fat guys is we always have snacks. You do you. You know? Be <laughs> who you are. So, as I drink uh, non-stop sugar from the side me, over here. <laughs> let me give you a quick update, guys. So, uh, once again, we watched VR, uh, 
E3 VR this morning along with uh, PC Gaming Show. Then we took a little break. Now we're back with uh, Ubisoft, which we just finished and we're currently watching right now. And then we'll have AMD shortly. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow at 9 a.m., we're coming back and uh, we're going to look at Nintendo Direct. I don't expect that to be any longer than an hour, probably less. Yeah. But uh, afterwards, uh, why did I write down Ubisoft twice? That's not right. We just really like Ubisoft here. Yeah. yeah. More Ubisoft. I think I wrote down Ubisoft. But there's something else happening tomorrow at 10. I'll have to check. Just double yeah. check. Uh, and then we're going to check out the Square Enix VOD that happened over the weekend. Or I think uh, it's going to happen today at 6 p.m. So we're not going to be here. Uh, so we'll check out the VOD and then we'll check out EA Play's VOD as well. It's be a recap. It's going to be a recap. And then uh, Tuesday we're not going to do an AM thing anymore. Mm -hmm. But we'll be back at 2 p.m. And we'll look at the uh, bigger, big names, Xbox and Bethesda. Nice. Xbox is doing another thing? No, they did one over the weekend. Yeah. yeah. So we're not going to watch until Wednesday because the, those are the big days. Oh. Yeah. Gotcha. Because we're not here on the weekend. We're not here on the weekend. <laughs> Oh, so we're not allowed to go out or something. Yeah. We gotta pretend like Scarlet didn't exist until then. <laughs> I'm more excited for for just Halo everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Screen X is uh, 6 p.m. today. Since uh, we're not gonna be here to stream it, we're gonna watch it tomorrow. as a bot. <laughs> Look at the concentration on there everything's face. <laughs> I love it. He's happy. Is it? He's a glass player, though. Is oh. he the only one on his team? <laughs> I think so. He's running. He's shot yeah. and run, shot and run. Yeah. He, look, he's pretty bad off. They got, it's 1v2. <laughs> Could he do it? Oh. He shot his own teammate. On the ground. <laughs> oh, right here, right here. Oh! Yeah, he got shot in the back. Dang. Dang. <laughs> They're almost better off going back outside. Don't worry, T-Pain. I, uh, I can't clutch it out either. <laughs> oh, is it up? George sent a link here. Uh, oh, you know what? I need to grab my actual note-taking apparatus. A piece of paper. <laughs> I hope it's a notepad. Let's open this over. Let's see. Let me click it open. Hopefully this is it. And it's a virus. Yeah, I'm expecting a virus. Video unavailable. That's what I'm seeing here. That's a shame. Uh, AMD, Keynote, E3. This is for charity, so everybody walks away a winner. But there's bragging rights, and when is we, live, we live in the era of social bad, media, it, it, it bragging is, rights are really it's hard. Twitch rivals. It's right. about the rivalry. That's true. You know? Everyone live on Twitch right now and playing for a good cause, looking oh, to raise money I've for St. Jude's played. Children's oh, Hospital okay. and Girls Who Code. That is it's gonna be earlier than that. Correct. So two very good charities as well that are. How can I watch? Uh, AMD's YouTube channel. Oh Just go to YouTube and look at AMD. Yeah. If you were to yeah, I was just saying. Seriously, and you look it at the probably works. Of Team Yachty. Okay. This is a very interesting lineup. You got a shield operator. You got two shields. So really, Sacriel running the Blackbeard. Oh, uh, Ubisoft's chat is just horrifying. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Yeah. You should never look at chat. I guess not. No. Except our chats. <laughs> Those guys are cool. If someone has a link, oh, there it is. Yeah. Now it's live. It's just soon. Yeah. When will then be now, Mike? Uh, in about ten minutes. So soon is the answer. Soon. I can't believe you're skipping T Pang siege match for for a splash screen of nothing. <clears throat> Can I touch the the AMD? The MD. Next Horizon. With a special Z for Ryzen. I think currently there's nothing. Uh, is AMD Twitch chat really funny? No, I'll, I'll, so I'll look at here. Last thing I want to do is show it on screen, much like Ubisoft. That was a, that was a, a hell of a chat room. It, even even like Apple's chat room is not exactly something that anyone should ever look at. <laughs> AMD has disabled chat 
Yeah. For this stream. They've done that before. They're not, uh, they don't have the courage like other companies do. Hmm. Plus, oh, I mean. Oh, wait, the AMD Twitch chat is funny. Yeah. They disabled on YouTube. All right, let's go check out AMD's Twitch chat. Mm -hmm. Twitch is active. Yeah, twitch.tv. Thank you, yeah, they Steve Finisher. I don't think they can. Follow. For Jeep Mr. Clean. Mature Simon for the follow. And Gigakiss for hosting. But that's like two hours ago, so. Do you want to guess what uh, Ninja's doing right now? He's probably playing uh, games. Yeah. Yeah. That was a good guess. Did I win? You win. What do I win? Uh, he's, you get a free Fortnite skin, because that's what he's playing. Oh. <laughs> Ninja, give it a rest. You can't say Fortnite skin too fast. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> I really wanted a Kool-Aid man in here. <laughs> I did that earlier. Yeah. Good work with that door. I got it. I got it. <laughs> You just have the, Mike has the magic touch of closing the door. That and the fact that I know how they installed it and that's so stupid. Every door here shuts wrong downstairs. Because you, you've been into your room with the, yeah. dual, the dual sensors that don't work. Yep. So you'd have to like press thumb and then twist and then thumb twist, twist, thumb. You mean the, the secure lockup? Yeah. Well, that's because it only takes my thumbprint. I mean, it works for me too. It takes your thumbprint? Yeah. Got it. But then it unlocks the top one and locks the bottom one. What are you talking about? Are you talking about this, this door? The, yeah, the double door glass over here. Oh, oh I, thought you meant, I thought you meant the room at the end of the hall. No, no, I'm not allowed there. No. I mean, I could just open the door. I have my ways. Ugh, don't tell me that my laptop isn't charged. Um, there's a, if you get the charger, there's a plug behind you. Mm -hmm. You know what you can do too is, um, since we're streaming, mm. you can just leave notes to yourself by saying them and then watch our stream later. That's the next level. That's right? It's like you're dictating to yourself. Yeah. It could just work. It's just crazy enough. Yeah. That's what I do. I talk during the stream and then I'm like, oh yeah, that's what I said. And therefore it's good. So, Rainbow Six Demo coming out for the phones. Yeah. Rainbow Six for phones. <sighs> Mobile Six. <laughs> I, I yawn for that. I do not. I, I like mobile games. Flappy you Bird. Play, you've never played a mobile game. You don't know me. <laughs> I played a ton of mobile games, Mike. On a, on a pad. On a tablet. I don't play them on my smartphone because, you know. You don't have one. I, that could be the reason. Or it could be other reasons, you know. But, uh, All right, what about the deal? so when you close it, just lift up the handle just a tiny bit. You'll see. Like go, ro rotate or lift? Lift, but just go ahead and close it. Go ahead okay. and close it, and then just lift it up a little bit. Yeah, oh. yeah right. That's how doors work. Uh, there's a plug here. You want to use it? Uh -huh. Whoa, you guys plugging in together? Yep. Why are you gonna make the weird guys? You're the one plugging in the, together, not me. I'm just sitting here. <laughs> Look, we're trying to share just... a special moment. Mm -hmm. by, by docking together. Talking. You said that on purpose. That's, they're words that go together. <clears throat> Let's see. So, huh? how you doing? Was, uh, I'm disgusted with you. That's that's where you should be. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, what we could do is that we can watch Digital Devolver instead of uh, instead of Ubisoft on uh, Tuesday yeah. p.m. Since I put Ubisoft twice, I didn't even know that. How did you not know that, Mike? Honestly, I have no clue. Is there more Ubisoft that we don't know about? No, no. So we'll watch Nintendo, 9 a.m., and then we'll watch Digital Devolver. This is like, like code to box. Box is here. Is there a Tony stream going on right now? Oh, God, I have no idea. Wow. <laughs> Traitor. No, I'm not streaming. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, we're blue guys now. We're like the blue team. Except for Mike, shows up with gray. Wow. Well, Mike's still got blue hair. 
Yeah. It's fine. There's always blue. So, yeah. Team blue. Do they We're posting? Oh, because he posted the the Twitch link somewhere else, and he, I think he ah. linked it to like the exact AMD channel. Do people mm. do people know about Tony's new status? Uh, we'll have an official announcement about that soon, oh, but okay. uh, there are changes happening, and Tony is involved. Ch -ch 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 changes. Oh, Square Enix. Mm -hmm. Square Enix. Oh no, I already talked about. Damn it, yeah. I'm getting my 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 developers wrong. Yeah, Mike. Yeah. What, what are we talking about? Uh, okay. Okay, so tomorrow, Nintendo, Square Enix, and e, uh, EA that's, Play. That's Blizzard. So yeah, yeah. we'll do a uh, digital devolver. What does that have to do with anything? I just found it lying there, and I just looked at it for a second. Oh, that's I thought what? I thought you were pulling up it as a, an example of mm -hmm. a Square Enix work. I think we had this printed for BlizzCon three years ago to use on a case. So this is an example of what it would look like on that case. And now it lives here. But now it has no mounting holes. How would you put it on a case? It's an example. It's a dumb example, Tony. Or Dennis. I'm he, was, he was part of the dot conversation. <laughs> not there right now. Uh, according to this. Don't, don't play with my emotions like this, OK? According to this, uh, PlayStation will have another PlayStation, uh, I mean, a state of play. Ew. Happening next week. The whole rim of this is disgusting. <laughs> it's a prop, dude. Yeah. I wouldn't even fake drink out of this. I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah. I would either get superpowers or die. Mm. That's all choices in life. That's, no, that's true, actually. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of superpowers that, like, either you get superpowers or you would die. Mm -hmm. Spiders? Radiation. Spiders, gamma radiation. Yeah. yeah. Uh, a serum that honestly shouldn't weird be. serums yeah. yeah yeah making your own own armor and trying to fly in it mm -hmm. it's crazy yeah mystical rocks and <sighs> magic acid. I don't know you acid trips you deal with yep. the right rocks and uh, believe me you're gonna be having you're gonna think you have superpowers yeah mushrooms I was talking about crack rocks I know but I'm just saying a different example oh yeah mushrooms yeah. are another one that gives you superpowers or, you know, you wake up naked. Did you ever watch Silicon Valley? No. I'm not allowed to enjoy nice things. You just drop my Your highly valued flask. Crappy, disgusting <laughs> prop flask flask. You know that's it was obviously mine, not right? a prop. Yeah. It's a, an Assassin's Creed 4 uh, Collector's Edition piece of I, I did pay mm -hmm. extra for it and I uh, it's good for a prop. I'm happy yeah. to pay for it. So I'm, I'm I'm adding to the drop count uh, flask and and GPU and motherboard and and food. You drop food. And so food. are you guys ready for the 16 core 32 thread monster? Mm. Uh, at that price point, I am. I mean, yeah. I've worked with with you know enough actual thread rippers where you know NBD. Hmm. Rear flex. I rear flex, uh, but okay. I don't know where um where thread ripper is this year. Uh, there are rumors that we're going to see 3000 series by Threadripper. Just remember, Threadripper is, is still Ryzen Threadripper. It's but just it's not the same. AGDT. It's totally different. What are you talking about? Well, they, they're talking about Ryzen. Right. But they're not talking about Threadripper Ryzen. Well, because they're not ready to talk about the Threadripper Ryzens yet. Yeah, they should just talk about They don't have those finalized, probably. It's so much easier. They normally release the bigger chip first, and then they release the littler chips. Because it's easier to make a crappy one after you've made a bigger one. Is that true for AMD? Yeah. It's most companies. Because you, you said that's how, uh, that's how they make chips. Like, like you make the highest end chip first, and then whatever fails becomes the lower grade chip. So if it doesn't pass, you know, when they make that huge wafer, mm -hmm. they say this is 9900K. And yeah, these but, ones that don't meet 9900K standards are now 9700K. Yeah, it's been 9600K. Welcome yeah. back, Texan. But the, the fab cross for <clears throat> Threadripper is different because it's like multiple, there's more dies. Oh yeah, and if, if those dies don't work, they just they just turn them off and they sell it as a lower end. Yeah. yeah. That's my point. Flagship and then everything else. 
<clears throat> just enjoying watching E3, broke away from some food, and now mm -hmm. I've returned. Yeah. I mean, I, wa I like watching Devolver just because they're insane. Yeah. They're absolutely insane. And it's like genuine entertainment. But uh, the rest of it just kind of like a procession of hype men. And like, no offense to you know Ubisoft or our friends across the pond, but like, I don't like watching Ubisoft presentations because I just don't like struggling through the accents to understand what they're saying. Yeah, some of them are very have smart people know what they're talking about. Personally, I just go. don't like. Yeah, I got to watch yeah. my tweets. All right, it's my laptop ready to work. Gaming pushes oh, us that's that classic towards what's next. <laughs> All right, good job, Andy. Yeah, I'm sure your editors are making their money. Was that a 980 Pro at the beginning? I think it's. I think Ooh, that's that looks seven. Nice. I think the the card that actually been showing looks like the seven. The Learning company building what the next PC. Ooh. I still find it's amazing Next that console. I didn't realize until like a few months ago that AMD is pretty much in all consoles. Yeah. Yeah. I had no clue. They're pretty much everything, Mike. I mean, their, their products have always been you know a little less expensive, so it's easier to, to make that, that sell. True. Mm -hmm. Price effective. And I think I think Nvidia is more interested in just doing their Shield thing mm -hmm. anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, please be, uh, welcome AMD president oh, and CEO, to Lisa. Dr. For, for Lisa Sue. From any of this, yeah. Ooh. Uh, welcome, it's welcome. It's not possible. I don't think it's likely, but it's not possible. How are possible. you guys all doing? All right, welcome to our next Horizon gaming event. This is like a phenomenal crowd. It's so good to see you all here today <laughs> in the theater at E3. Are you guys having fun? Okay. Woo! And thank you. Wouldn't it be to funny if, like, for E3, they we started doing what they did at, like, the red, the red carpet for, like, the now, the Oscars or something? It's <laughs> like micro-analyzing what all the presenters are wearing for no reason. Yeah. And so we are just super excited to be here today with So she was really loud, and now she's very soft. Can we turn it up, like? Yeah, I'll definitely do that. It's, it's, this is... And maddening the fact that they can't get their levels right. We yeah. Joined by the one and only well, they're not an audio company. They're a visual company, Mike. Applause. And we also have some amazing partners. We're going to see some amazing stuff. Did you turn your mic back on, Mike? So let's yeah. go ahead and right. get started. Are you ready? Partners is indicative. Okay. Maybe it's the stadium. So look, We're Team Red. Video, as we all wear blue. Oh. What's next? Our goal at AMD is to push the envelope on technology, and the entire team is always asking, what's next? So, whether it's what's next in PCs, or what's next in consoles, or what's next in the cloud, we're going to show you some really exciting See, cloud. Mm -hmm. that just answers that question of what's next. So, you've heard me say... I always stand outside and look at clouds and go, what's <laughs> next? <laughs> What now, plane? He actually screams at the clouds. Tell me what's coming! <laughs> Texan, I actually have a hybrid system, so I can guess I'm Team Purple. Is that true? You're an acceptant of all. <laughs> yeah, you're not a, not a one company man, it's okay. The frame rates, the best quality, the most incredibly responsive, immersive experiences, and most importantly, these days, you want to be able to play and share and experience across every platform. And to deliver that incredible gaming experience, you actually need two things. You first need incredible breakthrough hardware. And this is going to be a recap. You also need breakthrough games. And you need these two to really be optimized together to create that next level of gaming performance. And frankly, you know, sometimes the hardware gets a little ahead. And sometimes the software gets a little bit ahead, but it hasn't always. Did your levels go down again? Yes. When you play they cannot. If I would have kept it low, or what it was last time, it'd be so difficult to hear. We're gonna change that. We have the opportunity together with our partners to bring. The Here, let me do it. Let me do it. So you're not in front of the camera. Yeah. Like that. And if you do it, 
it'll definitely be the wrong button. That probably just turn the TV yeah, off. So yeah. So yeah. Like that? I, I don't even like to touch it. Keep going. Spring up to like 20. Keep going. It's 18. Keep going. That's 20. There we go. Mike was about to leave it on 17 like a psychopath. It's a balancing act because if it's too low. Oh, they just can. Yeah. Uh, it's in Stadia. It's powering some, some Stadia things. The little Chromebox thing. With our new partnership between AMD and Samsung, the yeah, PCs first. Devices. We are making radio widespread drop accessibility yes. in games. And now, at AMD, but if you think about it, this year for AMD, they they have the Ryzen, and then they have the Navi, and then they have pretty much Apple because they're in the new Apple Pro. Yep. And, this year, and then they're in the both consoles and Stadia. So, what are they? What are they not just you know winning at right now? They're everything. They're not winning over Nvidia fanboys and Intel fanboys. That's true. We bet on these new engines, and these engines are incredible. Our new Zen 2 CPU core, and our new RDNA graphics architecture, and frankly, we put these things together in a really smart way with chiplet technologies that give you great, great capability and flexibility. And so, just to give you a few examples of this technology in action, how many of you are PlayStation fans? So, last month, Sony announced that the next-gen PlayStation would be built around... Mike is trying to fix everything. Architectures. And, we've been and also be on the show. ...with Sony over the last few years to build a custom chip based on the Zen 2 and the next-gen Radeon architectures. And we are it's weird. It's weird to know, like, NVIDIA was in, like, original Xbox. You know, even PlayStation was doing their own chips for a while. Mm -hmm. And now everyone's AMD. Is there some way we can raise the volume on the computer or something? Like, is the, is the YouTube video on the highest settings right now? And this uh -huh. is also powered by AMD. Let me check. Look at that controller. See, you see if we could. Few days ago is the video not loud enough? No. For for the peoples? Uh, oh, I can only do this screen. Oh yeah, you just gotta go up and over. Oh. How many of you caught the Xbox? Is the audio all the way up? The volume up I can't. It just skipped. Now we're in full screen, right? But what you heard, Bill Spencer and the Microsoft team, is they announced the next amazing chapter in our partnership. The next generation. You've got to get out of full screen in order to get controls back. Yeah, bump that up. Now, Project Scarlet like that. is powered by a custom processor co-engineered between our team and the Microsoft team with one goal in mind, to deliver the ultimate gaming experience. And it uses if you, our uh, If you're happy with the sound, say yes. If you're not happy with the sound, say no. No. And, and we're absolutely thrilled to partner with the XT team to enable their vision for the we'll gaming. We'll fix it. So... That's a lot of plot to be excited about. Everybody's We're really happy now. excited about them, but it's excited about, our part about those platforms. I like happy. AMD Much happy. Loves the PC mm -hmm. platform. On Sci-Fi, it's a good show. Oh, okay. Oh wait, you can you can watch a few seasons. It's good. So look for it's all of you who love PCs friend, unicorn. and love building oh, your own okay. gaming yeah, rigs and love well. the best of the best of technology. Today is for you. Sounds echoey. We might have some echo we're issues, Mike. Today, what I would call the ultimate gaming Should platform. I block it? And we're the only company in the world that can really bring you the best in both CPUs and GPUs. Yeah, we bumped and up it's both frankly, audio, so it, it might be echoing a little bit. Us as well as the industry, because we're introducing the brand new third-gen Ryzen desktop processors. And the brand new Radeon RX 5700 series graphics cards. Woo! 5700 series. All right, let's go ahead and get started yeah, with Ryzen, a, We're adding a whole digit. They're just skipping? Is it weird to me that I owned a 5800 GeForce? And now I can get a 5700 AMD. <laughs> It'll be so much faster than that 5800. Whoever names these things doesn't go beholden any, any kind of naming convention. I just want them to go back to like 
Mark One. Nvidia skipped, you know, a thousand. Yeah. And then just shoved 1660s in there. Well, Intel went from like four digits to three digits, back to four digits, <laughs> back to three digits. Because <laughs> I have a 920, and then they went with like the 1151 series, and they went with like a four digit nomenclature again. The anticipation around third gen rise is really impressive. Okay? It's kind of neat to have amazing. a, a I mean, video card and excited at the first CPU launch rise, right? Right? same year, so products. you could go full team red. I wish I had more money because I would have been bet. I would have bought a lot of uh, AMD stock. Uh, mm -hmm. But when I read the comments from you guys and the anticipation on Reddit or Twitter or across the forums about third generation Ryzen. It's truly spectacular to see the excitement in the community. So our goal is very, very simple. Our goal is to- Welcome back, Fatal. Hope your eyes are CPU in their sockets. For every <laughs> I mean, preferably. And it all starts with the CPU core, the engine. So we are so proud of Zen 2. Zen 2, our architects just did an amazing job. It is just incredible. Theo's got the right idea though. And when like, you I really want to see some specs, independent benchmarks. I want to see that. Um, Form. You can put anything on a slide. Clock yeah. uplift. Double the cache size for lower memory latency for faster gaming, and double the floating point. But you can't argue that it's two times those things. And if you think that we're really proud, that's more than what it was before. When we bring this over, to I mean, the side, I'm not super familiar happens. with IPC. Look, look at how look those at those guy. numbers look like. It looks like I need to save some money to get me a 3900X. But I'll so probably end up with the 3700. We're extremely excited about our third generation Ryzen 7 and Ryzen 9 stack. And if you think about it, Ryzen 7 processors. It's funny cores, that each of those is just threads. like point we have the new one gigahertz faster. Ryzen 9 3900X, which is the first 12 core processor for mainstream gamers. I know, but who cares about cores? I want gigahertz. <laughs> and what you really see here? I'm a single core kind of guy. I want it to hurt more. Yeah. At every single price point. I want original cores. That was our goal. Not so cores light. Let me just show you a little bit of the numbers, okay? Let's just start at the top of the stack <laughs> and see how 3900X stacks <laughs> up against the competition. All right. What we're comparing now is the 3900X against the competition's Core i9 see? 920X, which, mm -hmm, by the way. Good. Is Look, its temperature is nicer than that 1920, 9920 chip. And this is 12 core to 12 core comparison. And what you see is that the 3900X wins by 14% in single thread performance. What's the deal with Newegg? We, also we don't know the deals yet. Performance. Fatal, we and won't know until all of this the chips are available. We'll probably have the best price. That's right. our goal. So think about it: more right? performance, yes. less power in right away. It's better less ingredients, than half the better price. pizza, better prices, better prices. New Egg Johns, New Egg. <laughs> now I know some of you have also been wondering: just how does the 3900X perform? How long before we sell right? out of New Egg is a very good question. So let me show you. And that will be very fast, day, usually. We compare the yeah. 3900X again. Because now traditionally we get small numbers. Oh, okay. They have the, they have the and this is across yeah. right. some of the top AAA gaming titles. This is an okay, so 9900 versus 3900X. Really so we have, we have to know what the GPU And what you it's, just it's, see it's, is we can do this. incredible performance. This is, this is 1080p. The rest of the system. Yeah. Essentially maximum gaming performance. Hold on, this is, this is this is numbers. CPU's job is to get mm, out of the that way. That much? No, they have one number there that says the FPS, and then another number that is slightly lower than that. That's how you know it's better. Yeah, because the red now, number. Look, numbers are nice. Is better. But gameplay is So maybe much it's five better, frames it? slower. So let's actually see a right. real world right. use case for the 3900X. Here we go. Here we go. Not just for gaming. We're going to show you gaming, but we're going to show you what you can really do when you take the 3900X for a spin. And for that, let me invite Robert to the stage. Yeah. <clears throat> That's as good uh, as I can get. Thank you, thank you, Radeon Red. All right.
Ladies and gentlemen, 1080p is a wonderful resolution and lots of people choose it. But if you're a nerd like me, I have an ultra wide 120 hertz monitor on my desk. 1440p is where I play. I hear some cheers down there. Right on, right on. All right, so 1440p is a big deal because we want to drive more pixels, drive higher frame rates. So let's look, take a look at Tom Clancy's Division 2 running at 1440p. Just hit World Tier 5 myself, Gear Score 503. If anybody else plays, hit me up, right? And what you see is a very comparable gaming experience. But what you really see is the Ryzen 9 3900X, this beautiful, monstrously powerful 12 core CPU delivering an incredible gaming experience. 12 core gaming chip that's uncommonly powerful. But it's deeper than that. See it's that? Deeper. Look at those numbers. They do more than just It's exactly the same for so a lot less money. This game and streamed it like $80 less money at 10,000 kilobits using the slow OBS preset. Which is just a quality. Once again, the volume's super low. What most processors I hate this. What would that look like? Sorry, Mike, you're not allowed to watch. View. Yeah. This is what a viewer would see if we streamed this game on both of these processors. Yes. <laughs> we did start the stream for the other guy, right? Whoa. Ouch. Right? That, that is the magic of a 12 core processor for gaming. You can do things that you couldn't do before. Sure. The other guy with eight cores? Yeah. Sorry. All right, so let's take a look at the data. I want to show you by the numbers what you just saw. And both processors, same frame rates, same frame rates, but a real gaming experience from us and a smooth streaming experience for the viewer. That's how it should be. Fantastic. Thanks. Thank you, Robert. Try to stream like that, huh, Intel? Okay, Burn Intel. so for anyone who's wondering feel? why you need a 12-core processor for gaming, do you believe it now? Yeah. Look, look, we are just taking gaming and streaming to level. This is All what right, we clown, baby. And now, let's take a look at the Ryzen 7 3800X in action. But how many of those cores you know, are hyper-threaded? My point earlier was that at every price point, None. we're getting hyper is an Intel, special. is an Intel only thing. And this time, thing. we're comparing See, the 3800X against the 9700K. Multi-threading is the generic term, the same titles which some of these do. And what but do you see? But hyper-threading is faster than multi-threading. Fantastic frame rates. Just by well the word alone. 200 frames per second in most games at 1080p. It's like ultra and mega course, versus you know just ultra. That we have double the threads, and so the 3800X just outperforms and really shines in creative workloads. Mm -hmm. So that's the Ryzen 7 stack, my friends. Show me the 4K numbers. There's a lot more here about 3000 than I was expecting. Well, look, I said I have something for everyone. So now let's turn to the Ryzen 5 stack. Mm -hmm. And frankly, there are a lot of PC users who might have a budget of $250 and the idea is yeah. best processor you can get those aren't hyper threads that, yeah. where's club penguin terry michael asking the real questions <laughs> so these guys are six cores 12 threads ryzen 5 3600 and 3600x they have all the benefits of the new tech so you got the zen 2 Excuse core Mike. you got the new Mike, you left it on 13. and again oh. let me show you it's an uneven number you can't leave the volume on an uneven number very very well mm -hmm. He's one of those guys. Oh my god. I do what I want to make it work. Some men just want to watch the world burn. And when you look, again, across all of these. Not my fault that I can't match their volume. It keeps it's peaking. Spectacular. It still has double the threads oh, for creative applications, so you can do Fatal a lot with this guy. But as I said, we're all about showing you our products in action. They should just show price. So let's bring Robert back yeah. and let us show you Ryzen 5 for the first time. Robert? Mm, right. Frames per dollar. Yeah. Frames and then, per dollar. And then they would, they okay. would be winning. I love talking about 12 core processors. I'm going to get a 12 core processor. But it's also true that most you? customers buy a $250. He's kind of scary looking. That's what He'll probably get one for free. And so our job is to give you the best freaking processor you can get. He looks like he's $50. wearing a ball so cap. So I want to show you <laughs> running CSGO. This is a very CPU sensitive title that requires hundreds of frames per second. And we're going to run CSGO on like a toaster. Our $250 CPU, mm -hmm. six cores and 12 threads. All it yeah, but not 1440. And again, you see okay, a sure. comparable mm -hmm. gaming experience, upwards of 300 frames a second. Look at that. And any Same CSGO frames. player will tell you that every frame counts because That's if you're right. trying to 360 no scope someone, every frame matters. 360 no scope. So that's, that's how you know he's legit, guys. He's throwing in elite gamer terms. Yeah. An amazing 
gaming experience. I have a question a really for you. Nice price. For me or for Baldi? Again, for any both. Customer, is it is this it the exact same gameplay on both Classic. screens? Because Thanks, why would his you, money and everything be exactly right, the same? So that was really great. If, now, if they're two separate the gaming instances, it's probably and a saved re this replay. I don't play a lot of CS:GO, but I think you can save replays. Yeah. So what you do is you save replay, cores, run it on one, point. change out the GPU, and run so it again. It's not a video. It's actually like rendering the game again. I just have an answer for Seven seven. It's Lovely. almost like knowing stuff about computers and how they work at my job. It's weird. I'm I'm sorry if there's any of you. All right, I, so look, I know you guys. I just want to create Ryzen, problems. You know, I don't want to create solutions. To to the other half of the ultimate game. That's why we're here. And now for, it's time to, to talk problems. about Navi, our next generation GPU. Sure. <laughs> I can do that. Did I even mention the threes? I still don't know about the threes. Uh, I'm going to straight it's to the good stuff. A market for them. Yeah. It's my, it's my dance. You should see it. They made a gif of me and everything. I'm famous. You want to see the gifs they made of you? No. <laughs> yeah, I just, wouldn't recommend it's, it. It's just me dropping stuff. <laughs> but you do it so well. It's so good. Then we're going to have an issue. It's your thing. It's kind of like your thing. You know, like, like Bill breaks stuff. I drop stuff. You drop stuff. Different forms of breaking. Yeah. 24 salt and things. Mike pours the sugar. Yeah. God, I can go over some candy right now. <laughs> Maybe some hot sauce. Yeah. Oh, Are you guys God, excited Lenny. about Navi? Yeah. All right. So look, Navi is now called our affectionate Radeon 5700 series. And this GPU is designed brand new from the grounds up for gaming. For the grounds up. And like we did with AC's the GPU on. side with Zen, it was really, you know, our vision to take a fresh look at the GPU architecture. The RX 5700 really starts with our brand new Radeon DNA. I wish they called it the RTX 7700. And this architecture just to mess with people. designed yeah. from the grounds up completely for gaming. But and like ARE, what did we focus TX. on? Oh, like RTX. Oh, yeah. Nice. We God, that, the whole entire <laughs> tech world would be like, I can't stand this. Ah! Stop it. I'm calling on the phone. I need your RTX. The ARTX. Yeah, they are. Damn Also, but the, with our OURTX. Oh, no. World's first gaming GPU. That's one of the keyboards. <laughs> the ORTX yeah. is uh, something else, too. So. Let me share some of the motivation of our engineers around. Show me the slide again. Look, we've had incredible success with the GCN Vega. architecture around Vega. And do you guys love Vega? Yeah. I think it's pretty good. And it's done really, really well in the market. But frankly, we thought it was time to build a brand new architecture for gaming like we did on the CPU side. Mm -hmm. And our thought process was really, you know, for the future of gaming, we need a flexible, and scalable architecture to go across every gaming platform. And that means we have all new stuff. We have a new compute unit design, we have new caches, we have a streamlined graphics pipeline. But what that means to you from a gaming standpoint is that we are seeing a 25% increase in graphics performance per clock cycle and a 50% increase in performance per watt with Ooh. RDNA. So are you excited about RDNA? That means it goes faster than the last generation. Now, we and love architectures, cooler. but we love products even more. So it's really exciting when you see the product in action. Let's take a look. She's a doctor, right? It's in her name. Yeah. Like, I've noticed that anyone who has a doctor makes you call them doctor. Like, doctor disrespect. Like, there's a... I don't think some, he's actually a doctor. There is a, a, a reviewer that we know within the certain program that always answers his email as Dr. So-and-so. Like, you know, just skip out the name, but always has doctor in there. But they don't just give out doctors, Mike. It's kind of like a lot of work. So you're yeah. telling me if you got a doctor, you'd be like, yes, I'm also a doctor. It's like, I don't care. I was just taking your McDonald's order. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that would be a little extreme. Shh. How nice it looks. All right, E3. Meet the Radeon RX 5700 XT. That's beautiful. 
I'd like to give that that little slim curve up I there. Saw, yeah, that little bump. Like Ooh. she squeezed it too much. <laughs> all right, look, we are so proud of the Watch, it actually like just melted and a little bit on the way there. And all of you are with it as well. When you hear all <laughs> about the incredible engineering, both inside and out on the it. GPU. It uses less now, power, but needs more you? power it's to go to it. XT, do we know how much? Do you want to guess the cost? Performance in its uh, do we know for now, sure it's $400? There's so much for us to tell you. Let me invite Probably. Scott Herkelman. Probably. Head All right, what's your, what's your guys' bets? To come mm -hmm. take it away. Scott? I'm well, thinking uh, I'm thinking 380. All right. Well, they haven't said what it's as good right. as yet. Add, hey, hello, put your put your bets in now. Gamers, hello, what? The, e3. your co the cost. So for you to all be here. We have been the, there should be multiple entries in the series. For quite a long oh, time. Oh, okay, all right. Uh, to finally, finally we'll yeah. say yeah. the, the, the highest. Reddit, Reddit mm -hmm. Twitter threads. I watch all 7, 800. You talk about 7, all the time, and there's I see Theo, rumors, Theo and uh, Fatal. I think Fatal's going too light. I think it's up in the 7, 8 range. So we're, we're going to go to the highest. I'm going to say... 40 compute units up to I'll be, I'll be the odd man out. And just say 750. Mm -hmm. 8 gigabytes of GDDR6. All right, 699. That's a solid... I, I actually trust Box's answer better because he's like... He knows AMD. Yeah. New terminology, and that's what you're going to average see in a game. On our game clock when you're playing. 500 Terry. Mm -hmm. So it's a new one for you. They'll have a 500 card, but it won't be the XT. Yeah. And then a We're thinking about the, time, the highest. Base clock. Yeah. But that's not, we didn't just stop there. Of course, it all includes the new RDNA architecture. Of course, it's on the 7 nanometer. It looks process. nice, though. And of course, is the first. I mean, I love the, the, the clean stainless steel version of the last Radeon 7. But this just looks a little better. Let's take a look better. a little bit under the hood. We Although I probably never see this card because I'll be waiting for the actual. You know, a Zeus slash gigabyte version. For a few reasons, we want it to be cool and quiet. We also want to give you the ability to overclock this GPU to its full potential. So this includes a power supply support. Yeah, eight pin and a six a pin power. By eight pin and then a one by six pin for your power supplies. And then my favorite part of the thermal shroud besides the design. I hate single fan solutions. Digital power system. Well, it's a ready for blower, so it's like a little bit. Who are really looking forward Still to overclocking this GPU to its full potential? What do you think about that? AMD does that a lot, I notice, now, is they always go, show you the specs, great, and they go, but I know every pretty cool, huh? And every what do you think about that? Watching, like, and everyone goes, well, me. yeah, I mean, it's new information. Right, I will. Let's do it. Okay, let's go ahead and start the demo. This well, that's because they, they pause, and they wait for the applause, the and they don't get it, so they have to call it out, and make it happen. Played yeah. this game, over 2 million gamers bought and so they're, they're going directly against 2070, see? Fantastic amount of people for Saber <clears throat> so whatever 2070 is right now, that's a problem. Run at you. You can stand oh, behind a nice. gun and mow them down, so if you haven't played it, you should definitely try it. Run the, uh, what you can see here on the right is the 5700 XT, running in 1440. So slightly faster than 2070? The, uh, RTX 2070, the same product in its class. Show 2080. And, uh, amazing result. 2080 Ti. 17 frames per second versus our competitors. Uh oh, Raggy. Frames per second. What do you think about that? What do you think about that? Now, what do you think about that? Just <laughs> see, you catching on. Transparency. Hey, I'm gonna slap him in the face. Back. What do you think about that? A lot of yeah. you know that gamers sometimes play on DirectX 11. Sometimes gamers play with DirectX 12 enabled. Sometimes gamers play with Vulkan. Yeah, you can we clap now. That's basically what it means. From each of the little applause thing comes on. And we said, put the best versus the best. So that way, there's no trickery, and you can see that in its class. In the yeah, 970. Dollar class. I'm right there with you. 5700 XT beats the competition and beats it consistently. Well, now, you, then well, you have an answer to 2080, 2080 Ti. It's a brand new product that's, called the that's Radeon RX 5700. <laughs> it's got 36 compute units, up to 7.9 teraflops. Okay, so this is the regular. Of GDDR6, yeah, that's a boost clock. Up to <laughs> so this isn't the XT. This is just and a game clock of 1625. Uh -oh. And now, what you'll want to see next is where will this one be positioned? How does it compete against our competitor in a popular game? In this space, we know a lot of you play esports. So what I would like to show you next, and let's go ahead and roll the demo, is the Radeon RX 5700 against the nearest competitor, the, G the GeForce RTX 2060. This is actually, actually Apex Legends playing at a 1440p. And one of the most heaviest things you can do in Apex Legends is throw thermite grenades. And that's probably one of somebody's friends just really taking a whole bunch of thermite grenades right at their feet and burning them. But Oof. the re ending result of the 5700 mm. against the 2060 is 88 frames per second versus 72. And They're not touching anything with the 2080, are they? Nope. No. 
But they were on the 2070 a minute ago. So now yeah. let's take a look at the data. So Again, against fast fire, fast, then it's going to be 26. They can, they, yeah. they can be waiting. Nothing they can be here, saving the best for last. Uh, yeah. Nothing, uh, I wonder if there's, there's, there's no chip coming. And look, watching on the streamer in the audience. What we can see here is that up to 10% faster than the RTX 2060 in the top 10 games that have launched in the last year. Truly. Running at ultra, ultra, highest, ultra. Mm -hmm. Ultra high. Very high. All right. <clears throat> now, gaming performance is amazing, and I had to get that in front of you quickly because I wanted gaming to be excited about oh, how that means much anything. you put in just I think that's a cool buzzword that your marketing people came mm -hmm. up with. All of that yeah. comes from our new gaming architecture. All of that is a standard with our new RDNA architectures and all the features that we put into it. It is cool to know that they're in like so many different and of course there's some components and consoles like about, that like they're probably more, more compatible in the long run. Some new features hmm. and features because that games that are multi-platform are going to be leaning towards market, compatibility for AMD. By our game oh yeah, I can see them all, all being better optimized across all systems because so let's go ahead and dive there's so much commonality. So RDNA, Lisa mentioned this a little bit ago, is our brand new grounds up I kind of hope that 4.0 is going to push more family. boundaries. The first products in that family are the 57. Problem is come standard on the 7 all of the process, support for GDDR6. All of the X570 Again, boards which are the only ones that are going to support 4.0 4 are going to be ridiculously expensive with the Navi family which is the radio um, and there's no the indication code, at the moment that we'll see another 4.0 capable chipset and then the Radeon display. Um, so that will so it might remain display out of reach. Display stream compression, as well as a whole bunch of other features and uh, cabling systems. So that way, as you look towards buying new monitors, you can I don't know if you've seen of any of the uh, rates, the X570 boards yet. Yeah. They all have built-in so uh, fans over the chipset. So, like many of you in here, no more passive you know that if you're going to use Minecraft as a way to judge something, GDDs, judge something, then you might as well just use a lot of TNT blocks. How does the game look and feel? <laughs> Mike gets it. High resolution. Can I play Because that that would crash your computer. Can I play it at 4K? And of course, they haven't made a, combined with a, a fluid, GPU or CPU frame, that can handle game, no. Minecraft blocks. No. So we have a GT, <laughs> no. G, uh, we have a, a GTX uh, 1080 Ti, and it couldn't handle like 50. TNT blocks. <laughs> so the very first feature is Fidelity FX. Oh, it is oh, our uh, game developer Kerbal too. that we provide on GPU oh, Open. Nice. It's a website that we manage and run. So that way game developers, a lot of them here at E3, can go to this website and download Fidelity FX and use all of the, the, the post-processing oh, effects that make AAA FX. games look great in game. And they can start integrating That's fast. That their, yeah. not only their engines, but also Source. the games that they're building. So we are announcing that today. Oh, yeah. We're here with all the fantastic game developers. Wow. And uh, we even have a few on the stage. Is it broke, broke? In a little bit, they'll talk to you more about it. Or just snap out. But oh, it snaps out. All right. Thing first. You'll want to hear more from them about it. But let me just show you what some of these effects look like on screen. So as you can see here, this is a racing game. And we have Fidelity FX off and on. And it's just a subtle way to show you that it, it, if you've ever played a lot of driving games, you do know this is a little you darker. see that street below you. Oh, wait, look at the pixels. The look how cleaner they are. How far are you away from the corner? How fast do you feel like you're moving? It's blurry on, on, on the left yeah. and, and clean on the right. Extra detail in low contrast areas where normally it might seem a little blurry. We add that little crispness and sharpness. So you feel like you're more connected in the game. And it's a, it's a very easy thing for us to do with this new RDNA architecture because we have more performance for the game. And we're able to... Uh, I'd love to see how that looks. Increase the sharpness. Yeah, like in motion, please. Yeah. While keeping your frames per second. Right. Obviously, your, so this is a before and after the refresh rate on your monitors effects. becomes super on. important with that. Yeah. Now let me show you a game that I'm sure a lot of you are anticipating, like I am, at the back half of this year. Borderlands. Borderlands 3. So Fidelity FX will also be integrated into, into Borderlands 3. And what we're showing here is a little bit... I want to see a massive change. After. So you can see in that yellow Something box... Something where you go, oh! If you can't see it right now, there's actually little uh, hexagons in there. Um, and honeycombs, if you will. And if you turn Fidelity FX on, you'll see it's that... It's good that they're adding details a to a very non-detail-based game. The next level of detail Why did they cut away from it? For no performance hit at all. It's something that as That's such a cool. It's on. Game, it's just gonna yes, I see the honeycombs side. better. Mm -hmm. I would have liked to see it. Like, so there it is. Side side no, you son of a... <laughs> <screen> a <little laughs> bit you. So mad, and, right? um, we're super excited about this technology. We have a lot of game developers signed up. Thank you. There you go. How hard is it to just show it side by side? Look, someone over there is with a stream deck, just like you, pressing the wrong button. Jesus. Hold on, hold on. Oh, what? They're going to turn it on? Let me pull away so that it's harder to see. Our yeah. commitment to you 
Our commitment to you is always launch features <laughs> with less of a performance hit and everyone can enjoy day one. What do you think about that? Production 101, damn it. Man, I remember like back in like four series, now, they had like enhanced if pixels. there's a game that um, doesn't have um, yet um, to adopt Fidelity FX. When you pause it. <laughs> but the question is, will it play during the game? Image yeah. sharpening. Superior quality, no performance hit. This will be available the day the product is av available in the market through our Radeon Software Adrenaline Edition. So sharpening. You can sharpening is a, a tool that a lot of computers have, especially for like OBS and stuff like that. Uh, feature yep. sets that um, Fidelity FX Usually if you sharpen too much, sort of nice you start to see uh, and, as I mentioned, <clears> data for you. Like, uh, I forgot what they call it, like little blue and orange pixels. That yeah. increase the quality of your in-game play. Virtually Noise. no performance. Noise, thank you. Yeah. Our competition. What do you think about that? I don't, I don't care. What do you think about that? Wait. How about you shut the... <laughs> you what, do you, but what do you think about now, that? Yeah, what do you... Um, a lot of you in here... That's his like buzzword. You I think, but you're not, I think AMD start, needs to start paying for roguing for its employees. How fast? <laughs> Between you and your, right. what do you think about that? What do you think about that? Move and respond. Frames per I think, second matters. You I think you should ask someone for feedback you, when you're really just asking for Twitch, applause. Like your friends, <laughs> fans, because you're not really, you really don't want to hear what I have to say. Fluid 90 frames per second of gameplay or more. What do you think about that? We have a new feature and many new right, features. I gotta wait for the next one. That we're rolling out. But today, I would like it's to a good dream game. game. I think I'll, I'll answer all my Every dad jokes. With, what do you think about that? Yeah, about that? Enjoy what do you think about that? Right away. Huh? And this is called Radeon Anti Lag. Oh. Let me talk to you okay. about the feature. So if you love esports, okay. and beating mm -hmm. your friends at I like Fnatic. You now have, will have a chance to beat the GeForce GPU owners at esports. So let me talk <laughs> to you about that. This is essentially mm -hmm. a new feature. As we all know, uh, lag to a server when you're playing an esports game is one of the most frustrating things. And so we took a look at that and said, how can we improve the lag between the GPU and the monitor? And one way to do that is to take a look at how we deliver the software from the GPU to the monitor and see if we can mitigate some of that lag. This is the feature to do that for you. And what I'd like to do is bring Robert back up on the stage, explain a little bit about hope it's the killer network. feature and why esports gamers. <laughs> this is Robert. Robert. Now this is Robert with right. that with anti-lag. Okay. <laughs> he was walking up to the stage so like all stuttery. We'll talk about getting higher frames per second because that reduces input lag or the time between clicking a mouse or pressing a button and that showing up on the screen. There's a name for that. It's called motion to photon latency. Click a button huh? straight into your eyeballs. At 60 frames a second, that's about four frames worth of lag. Four frames. That's a lot. So let's show two systems with the Radeon RX. I didn't notice the bald heads XT until you mentioned it, versus Mike. The RTX 2070, <laughs> both running at around 60 frames a second. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I don't want to insult anyone here. Photon Just, it's about I didn't notice. Milliseconds from the time you press a button on your mouse or your keyboard to the time it comes out of the monitor into your eyes. Driving frame rates higher, that brings that number down. But what if there were a way to decouple the frame rate from the input lag? You could make that input lag lower even at the same frame rate. So what we're going to do is we're going to enable Radeon anti-lag. There we go. So this is, this is AMD desync. Not free sync or G-sync, but desync. Which is a full frame, frame and a half of improvement without uh, what you would have without this feature. So you if you're looking it? for that competitive advantage in Dota, mm -hmm. League, CSGO, where every frame matters, this Wait. technology can be for you. Do you guys see it? The little so flying things? Are, oh, oh, just, just the difference. Mm -hmm. I can see in milliseconds, Mike. Um, I mean, I mean, vaguely, I'd be more impressed if it was like... You just turn it on, you don't tell your friends and <laughs> do what they say. You know, pressing the button. So let me just show trigger, you some data before and after. So these are but was that good games, enough to tear it like basically be that bold statement against FreeSync? Uh -huh. Well, it wasn't against FreeSync, was it? Average, yeah, it's a, it's a, or G-Sync, sorry. Latency. It was against GeForce. Yeah, I didn't hear him mention FreeSync or G-Sync. That must be hearing things. Oh, that was me. So if you have advantage against your friends who have Radeon GPUs or the competition, just don't tell them you turned it on. And then uh, watch, watch yourself climb to the top of the lever, leaderboard. <laughs> okay, so the real reason why all of you are watching here is how much is this going to cost you? Oh, here we go. I think that's the question, right? Yeah. Good. Okay. What do you think? Leadership performance in its class in the $499 segment. The Radeon RX 5700 XT will be available for $449. Ooh. Mm. Not bad. That's about 
leadership performance in the $399 segment, the Radeon RX 5700 will be available for $379. <clears throat> I am super excited about this. I'm super excited to bring you the best performance per dollar in the industry and without hurting your frame rates with new features and technology. I think that's what you deserve, and I'm so happy to bring it to you finally. I'm sorry I made fun of your very soon, which is just sorry I made fun of your bald head. My other announcement. <laughs> I feel bad now because so, yes. those are amazing prices. Got yeah. some good good news there. All right, guys, set your, your auto buy box to July 7th. <laughs> all gamers, brand new CPUs, brand new GPUs. You, oh, man. in the back half of this year. AMD's RX 5700 series will be available on Newegg the morning of the of July 7th or 30 minutes thereafter on eBay for twice the cost. Super excited about this. But there is It will probably be available at midnight. And that next thing, at midnight? July 6th. July 6th. I mean, technically July 7th. As you saw oh, yesterday well, in the and the sold out. yesterday, mm -hmm. but we're also announcing today that when you buy a 5700 series GPU, you will be able to play Gears 5 and other 100 other PC games, and you can also get that same bundle. Did you get Game Ryan Pass? CPU. Three months? What do you think? Yeah. Does that sound great? Sounds great. What do you think of that? I don't know. I, I don't Very know if we're going to have pre-order. Now, I quickly went through we usually some have data, some new features, depending on the, the about vendor. pricing and availability of the products, and a little bit about a game bundle you'll get when you purchase one of our products at day of launch. But there's an expert here, and there's a it's whole bunch quick, of great so, games behind mm -hmm. uh, my, my segment, where you're going to see some brand new, uh, for the first time ever, gameplay, and you're going to talk to the people helping us make sure that all of the features that we just described to you are implemented. In Gears the of five. Some of these are the big names in the industry, and to help us do that, I'd like to bring on stage with, with me to introduce them, Jeff Keeley. Jeff? Did they get rid of the of War Gears now? It's Gears of 5. Yeah, they got rid of Of War. There's too many words. I can only read one word. <laughs> Jeff Keighley! It's not a war anymore. They got past the war. It's really more of like a introspective kind of thing. It's like Fortnite, but you're just rebuilding everything that got destroyed during the last five wars. I saw a... Now you're, using, you're, you're still using the Lancer with the built-in chainsaw, but it's just cut down timber for rebuilding. Powered by these uh, devices. Because the games. horde is dead. Yeah. It's a good thing they got to rebuild. Yeah. Games, I think. Right? Yeah, I actually, you know, we've been talking a lot about Maybe he's a lizard person, Perry Michael. You know what? I'm really happy. Blood. I'm really happy to see. Mm. Yep. This guy's not wearing a blazer. We got some new stuff. Uh, the graphic team. Take a look at some that, of the amazing true. games. That's progressive. Case for you guys. Mm -hmm. So uh, awesome. Well, thanks, Scott. That's great. All right, see you soon. Take a look at this. He's wearing a jacket during the summer. Yeah, especially like hot studio lights. Yeah. Jesus. That's LA too. It's hot. It's like 93 over there. Now it's super loud! Jesus! Impressive pricing though. Yeah. Yeah, really I mean, cool. Yeah. Factor that in with a, uh... Oh, ooh. Thanks. Um... Yay! With a Ryzen 3000, I mean, you build a really good computer for not a lot of money these days. PC's back, baby. PC never went anywhere. <laughs> all right. That's the same joke you I made. You guys ready to see some games? <laughs> yeah. PC's right, just going to be really affordable for people that, that might not have been able to get into it. Uh, to come out here and showcase uh, some titles coming uh, to PC. Uh, you got a little taste of it there, but first of all, I want to welcome So I saw an interview with Jeff Keighley. Uh, and he literally walked up to Rader, the interviewer Come on out, guys. and it was like, yeah, 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 I gotta do the show. Let's go now. But no, and he asked him like one question. He's like, uh, it doesn't matter. And he left. <laughs> I'm like, damn, Jeff, you suck. Wow. <laughs> then he ran on record and he was like, I was busy. What do you expect? <laughs> I have an entire show to run. This guy's got cool pants. Gears, as you said yesterday, had a big day at the Microsoft press conference. It's been a year. You announced it last year. You, you kept the powder dry until E3 here, uh, but you came strong with a lot of stuff. So, what is E3 is Cold Train in it? for Gears Five? Coal Train. Uh, well, really Woo! This year is about three things. It's Better be announced day, you know, launch date, which is you got a bear too. Uh, and in PC game. By the way, just call me Terry. Uh, and it's huh. also about the debut in Escape, so our brand new mode. And then it's really yeah. about talking about our no, pre-order. No, it's, it's our Terry Michael. Uh, You're like George Michael from the Arrested Development now. Yeah, 
Yes. It's in your name. So we, we, we can't hide it. Um, yeah. So, you know, we know you're Terry Michael the six. Come, you know, it's like, sixth. Yeah, he's like royalty. Tell us about this. <laughs> Put up that pink Henry the Eighth. That's correct. It's a three-player sort of aggressive co-op mode. You plan a venom. That, that's a that moment too when you type in Terry Michael four, Terry Michael five, Terry Michael six. Okay, it's accepted. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's who I am now. <laughs> Wait, did this say it's a three-player co-op? Now, Gears is so. a franchise that has oh, always what is happening? A, you know, a He's vomiting blood. Uh, what you do with whoa, whoa. Really it's like you've it's never seen a man vomit blood before. Ago, Michael. Yeah, Jeez. <laughs> no, how I can't really say that I have. Um, you know, games can be. And then Gears of War 5. You'll vomit blood. <laughs> so good it'll make you vomit well, blood. Right person for that. Tech director Mike Reiner. Reminds me of Storm. Yeah. Right, I'm no Mike, doctor, uh, but that guy might have to. I think he's got a little worse than yeah. the flu. Uh, you know, on the He'll be okay. PC, he's got to walk it off. Throw some dirt on it. Walk it off. <laughs> Take a lap. Drink water. Take a Motrin. You'll be fine. Yeah. Take some vitamin C. Just don't look it up on WebMD. Yeah. They'll say you're dying. But you're not. Yeah. You'll be fine. You're fine. Further on PC. Well, being I'm not a doctor. Showcase is at the top of I just play one on TV. Not only do we have increased. Oh, they spelled his. Okay, they spelled his name wrong somewhere because that was R E A N E R. Yeah. And then up on the board, they had it uh, R A Y N O R. We've yeah. enabled a ton of options for players. So at some point, someone at the station was like, "We have set up. We got it wrong." PC gaming experience. We're really excited to push. Raynor sounds cooler though. They were the thing about Raynor from StarCraft. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, that's. Great things to talk about, but let's see it now. We've got some of the first footage. I still I think, of think the five, chainsaw uh, design is a little weird. Uh, and tell us, you may walk us yes, a gun with a chainsaw bayonet is kind of weird. Because well, you want to grab it from underneath. Like the, the hand will be part. I, I know, but but you know, it's the weight's very heavy, so it's coming down, and you try and grab it from underneath to catch it. Woo! You're catching blades. I've seen that pentagon. I don't know where that's going. Yeah. That's not good. The thing is, There's I'm, a lot I'm, of tentacles right there. I miss <laughs> the ultra steroid oh, missed. bugged HDR out, like yeah, yeah, like uh, characters. Everyone needs thirty percent more muscles. Because I remember playing the game the first one, be like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> why is everyone covered in viscera all the time in this game? Because they just woke up from inside the hive or something. Oh, it took it to its uh, its time. Yeah. Yeah. What's going on? Like I'm actually going to yeah. I go back. Is the swarm or the? Well, did you say I just slide in? So yeah. Yeah. We wanted all the cinematics to be. He's using that new anti lag. It's right there. Everything's real time. Pow pow pow. Yeah. Looks amazing. Oh yeah, I remember running the, the sort of the crouch run. In yeah. This game. It looked nice. Yeah. I tried to do that Amazing. when this game this came out, like the first one, and it just cool messed up my legs for days. A run like that? <laughs> like you have a have the, the, the crouch <laughs> run? As we know, yeah, it's like it's like trying to duck walk <laughs> really, really fast. Talk about getting your, your leg day going. So yeah, right? Like if you could kind of Both my calves exploded. Yeah. Bye bye. I want Coltrane. Yeah. Especially if you had that armor on. Coltrane. And that heavy gun. You probably just yeah. want like that normally because you just can't, you just can't <laughs> stand up, stand up over. I also oh. want another Carmen. <laughs> Carmine. Carmine, yeah. He has, what he had like 17 brothers. Yeah, like traditionally a Carmine has to die in every Year's of War game. Yeah. <laughs> And it looks great and performs. Now, here, here's the game if uh, no one dies. It, it looks like it's three player co op. You know, yeah. what's really, We've, this was the second really game of the three player co op. Because no, no one makes no one makes games for like sitting on the couch co op anymore. Yeah, but why three players? You know, it's it's a it's a curious question because like I guess maybe majority of players had like two friends and that's it. I don't, I don't get it. Yeah, I only have two friends. Maybe they set their volume to three. No, that's a lie. I don't know. Uh, I mean, the division, it's all based around uh, three man groups. Yeah. You know what? No, or is it four? I have a funny answer for this. Is that maybe they can't do four or more because of like limitations of the game netcode? Yeah, the way that like like when they dropped Doom, they couldn't get more than four multiplayer at the same time. Oh, Apex Legends is three player squads. Yeah, three three players is becoming a 
because of the bundle. Are they more popular? Mm -hmm. I think uh, most people cars. just have two friends. Yeah. Sounds, so sounds like it. Gets the card, who gets and then you'll tell two friends. So Gears Five. Are we excited for Gears Five? Yeah. Absolutely. Nice. <laughs> I'm not not excited. Yeah. yeah. I'm not chopping right. on the bit. What was the last uh, Gears so game play? Great to see. I played all of them, yeah. so yeah. it was like four. Right. I think I stopped at two. That was pretty good, but we got more for like, you today. You know what? I'm G3. not a big fan Our of third person. Who needs no introduction so for me, it's not a game for me. And, and, I, and again, it, the classic gimmick is, you know, you run into a room, some action sequence happens, and there's a couch you have to hide behind. You know, and that's the game. You know, yeah. every every section is that, you know? Oh, here's a couch, you know? Duck behind the couch. Oh, shoot. Move forward to your next couch. Very resilient couches in third person action games. Yeah. Alright, time to get loud with this one. Yeah. You look nice. The mic turned the volume down. <laughs> no, I'm not getting up. Yay. Mayhem is coming, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome to the stage executive producer of Borderlands 3, Gearbox Software's Randy Pitchford. Hey, Randy. Hmm. Good to see you. Pitchford in the house. All right, so Randy, He's got Borderlands cool is the king of the looter shooter yeah, it's genre. Loud, and the moment it's a loud now, shirt. Borderlands 3, uh, it certainly became one of the and most And Borderlands is no one that's really fun, but like, and now you're just so AMD, much and so long. Stage, I just can't, with I can't you complete at the one. Now you're here at AMD's, uh, stage at I play a lot of Borderlands too. How your team at Gearbox is taking I will admit, it's, it's on my list of like top 10 games. Yeah. Uh, Jeff, I am uh, my, like so Steam games here. anyways, because uh, I can only measure things by Steam because that's the only thing that shows an hour counter. Right. Usually we don't get but it's up there for in a typical marketing for a game like ours so if you look at the, but the screens, whole epic spin on it this of time kind of made me a little like, hesitant Let's do it oh it's now, supposed to be an one epic of the exciting things that we can do in borderlands yeah. 3 is we can leave our home planet to visit another world at one point our adventure is going to take us here to promethea and you can see that Promethea Ooh. is surrounded by an asteroid belt. It's a bug planet. This gives planet. us a really cool opportunity to show off some pretty clever and awesome Dr. light reference. in Borderlands. You can clap area. now. In this time lapse sequence, what do you think of that? Yeah. The asteroids flying by occlude light from Promethea star, creating shadows across the surface. Ooh. And as asteroids fly past, the That's light nice. from the star will be able to peek back through, illuminating the environment Ooh. with the light of day. That's actually really nice. As you can see how pretty natural cool. light, like you get like snippets interact. of sunlight. You can see how technology and creative design can work together to create an interesting fiction yeah. and a stunning image. Now back on Pandora, I want to show you some evidence of our investment into the future of display technology and how powerful hardware and software can unlock a new range of fidelity. For televisions and monitors that support it, high dynamic range provides for a greater spectrum of mm, luminosity HDR. than we've ever experienced before. Mm. It allows for brighter lights, there. darker darks, and a range of color and light that is as close HDR as HDR or that there. On yeah, that, that fortress for children I evolved. I was, I was, I've been there. Real world. Uh, oh. In order yeah. to help show off the HDR okay. difference, we've simulated the effect here. Now, without uh, HDR, this is what the scene would normally mm, look like. Yeah. It's pretty nice. More vibrant. But this is the same scene in HDR. I don't like it with it off. And alive. Do you see the difference? <laughs> Can we see it again. off one more time? Back to standard. Probably not, right? <laughs> Ooh. And now with HDR. <laughs> I'm not sure. Can I get one more time in the middle? <laughs> I kind of want something like I. I like I hope the, it won't be long the bright colors, but it's a little too bright. Range, but when <laughs> I kind of want the middle. Yeah. On September 13th, technophiles like me with HDR screens are going to have very standard looks uh, like one how I, I expect you Apocalypse guys, to feel. You, you know, with HDR on, felt like Prometheus more cartoon six. comic book. This is a Venus. I mean, don't get me wrong. That's what it should. That they're going for, but this is the perfect environment. I like Apocalypse. Possible with Borderlands 3 through our collaboration. With AMD. Oh God, I'm tired. We've been working with AMD oh to incorporate you should have those two cokes instead of those two snacks. Fidelity FX is a collection of high quality snack plus co processes that we can use to make Coke is the effect on me. Better without oh, sacrificing better get some um, it takes energy drink. Cold the brew. That's what I had. I had oh, I don't think I ever drank that bang. No? I think it's still in the fridge in the other room. That's yeah. uh, a... That'll, that'll rock your world, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. I think I turned red when I drank it because it was like so much creatine. Is it one of those like... I was one of those pre-workout ones like rain? Yep. You probably turned red because someone asked you... You want to bang, 
and no, I was telling that joke all day. It was it was no effect on me. Yeah. <laughs> that just seems wrong. <laughs> yeah. How do I offer this to you in a in a sensible way? That was the joke. Like, Would you like a beverage called a bang? Yeah. <laughs> And I, that's that's too robotic, you know. Would you like a bang? Yeah. See, would you like a bang? Yeah. It's a little better than. Do you want a bang? Yeah. Who are big fans of the franchise. A weird thing to call out when like you're first meeting someone yeah, you know, over your so house. Like, hey, you're hanging out. Hey, what a bang? <laughs> okay. I'm the fridge. Can I can I offer you a bang? Yeah. I like this. That one's still kind of weird, right? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. The scenario you go over a buddy's uh, barbecue. <laughs> hey man, you want a bang? The girlfriend goes upstairs and like I'm gonna go get something. And you're like yeah. along with your your friend. You're like yeah. All right. Huh, well. Can offer this you a is bang? just a taste yeah. of our collaboration with AMD. You want a bang? No. Uh, does your girlfriend want a bang? Uh, how about your kids? <laughs> 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 Dear Bang, send us more. From <laughs> <laughs> Dear Bang, we are so tired. Help us. Yeah. Yeah. Because, because Red Bull doesn't send us anything, so. Yeah. Games, yeah. Uh, we could use the, the, the drinks. Yeah. Is on the best hardware on AMD hardware. Pity sponsor us, please. All right. Seems like a pretty strong partnership between AMD and Gearbox. These guys got red. Wait to check out the game during E3. Uh, and is there anything else that you want to share with us? Well, I thought since they gave us a moment here, I'd also yeah. bring some yeah. never before seen gameplay footage. You guys want to check out? Oh, here you go. Some exclusive. Yeah. You guys are taking over E3. All right, what are an we about to An exclusive to an exclusive. Okay, so, uh, we're at E3 going to let people play as a new Vault Hunter for the very first time. This is Moe's. Uh, let's roll the, the video and we can uh, look at her. Now, she is a gunner character and she is a badass. Moe's is right now my favorite new Vault Hunter in Borderlands Ooh. 3. The she hardware stuff is over. You a little bit of her skill yeah, track. half the half the keynote yeah. was about hardware. The other half was about well, gaming Borderlands. This character. Yeah. And unless, unless they get like deep, 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 deep into the technical stuff, right like. And she can so this is um, not much they can talk about. This is Overwatch now. Military Overwatch. In the game. You know, is it? Just, just you're just, just saying that's Diva? Yeah. Oh, I was gonna say because. And with the iron okay. bear, most of the like water bottle. Hmm? You had a water bottle? You had a water bottle? A water bottle? Rocket launchers, yeah. even badass yeah, I didn't think Here's the iron bear. Man, Dennis, so this is some of your fault. CMOs using yeah. uh, a configuration that we call the, bottomless mags, where by switching the view looks a lot like. Um, she virtually never runs out of ammunition. <clears throat> Uh, what's the other game? Titanfall. Hey, that was flak oh, mounting, uh, the, the iron She's rotoing that, rodeoing uh, that Titan too. So, oh, so your buddy can climb onto your, can jump in and, yeah, and your your mech and, so and use a, a secondary and weapon. And one of your friends is, oh, is flak or any of the other. That's pretty interesting view. Everyone like turret. it's a good more, it's a more uh, uh, collaboration, so more gooder, more gooder collaboration. I'm getting tired. It's a long day, man. Long day. Awesome. All right, Borderlands Three is here. And we can't wait to play it in September. September. Thanks for being here. Randy. I'm so psyched. Thanks, you guys. I'll see you down at the floor. Cheers. Hi, hey, Randy. Good, Good to see you. All right. All right. Two big action games right there. Uh, and now we're going to move on to another uh, great partner of AMD to give you kind of a preview of where technology is uh, heading next. Uh, let's talk about I just Unity. I can't Unity stop game, thinking about July 7th. Incredibly what? important. Say Unity? A lot of I don't know. This company's engine yeah. powers Unreal? remarkable games across oh, okay. PC, console, mobile, and the cloud. More than two-thirds of VR and AR experiences are made in Unity. Practically every gamer has enjoyed games built on this company's technology. I love Unity. From the world's most widely used real-time 3D platform, Unity Technologies, please welcome the Vice President of Graphics, Natalia Tatarchuk. Natalia. Oh, just the name, huh? How are you? Great to see you. Thanks welcome to E3. All right, well, uh, oh, you know, stop Unity cutting her off, man. Driving force she can even so say thank you. The games that people uh, play today, uh, you know, when I think of Unity. What's that guy's uh, name again? Go, uh, Jeff Keighley? Beat Saber, which I've been Being playing. Being a jerk, uh, Jeff. Oculus Quest. Let <laughs> him talk. You play Beat Saber. Uh, it's such a great game, and even uh, Oddworld Soul. Soul He's Soul like, Soul what am I doing here now? You're just going to take over my you spot? Are, you know, no a lot of developers me. turn to Unity to help them realize the visions. Um, I love Unity as a company. Why do you think? I also love Unity and Rick and Morty. Well, as a character yeah so i'm like torn the resources, <laughs> all right all right or frankly, even is he gonna cut her off again their own engine it's quite a what do you think of that task. and most importantly they oh, shouldn't God. have to we they've got a phenomenal vision for their project be it a game or a real-time experience that they want to build and they need the right tools to make it happen and that's exactly where unity comes in we give teams of all sizes access to powerful 
and approach they are everywhere that make it possible Unity. for them mm -hmm. to actualize their vision to it's free it's the unreal engine right? and yeah. you know i know your team <laughs> it's is everything really committed it's everything. to solving hard problems for developers making games uh, look as great as possible can you tell us a bit of what's coming down the pipeline from unity a little sneak preview definitely okay my team lives and breathes every single day the goal to, of creating best in class. I also live and breathe. I was going to say, <laughs> is, is anyone in this in this chat not live and breathe, live and breathe every single day? Because you need to create mm -hmm. the content. Yeah. And that's always our driving. Sometimes I feel dead. Yeah. <laughs> you are now breathing in manual mode. Yeah. It's actually going to offer a massive jump in graphical realism on PC and consoles. I've been dead for a while. It's <laughs> okay. We're all dead inside, Theo. I think after today, I'll feel dead. As well as amazing, uncompromising GPU performance. And these are tailor-made for ambitious, high-end title. So I think I, I'm fairly confident now that the the AMD keynote is over. Not to say that this is not important. Obviously, upgrades to... Uh, to yeah. Unity really for developers is important, but like for where we stand, the hardware is over, the sneak peeks, uh, peeks into uh, gameplay is over, our interest is done. Uh, yeah, more here. Do you think so? I mean, um, and I can't imagine that they're going to put all the fun at the beginning and, <laughs> and not have at least one more, like, you know, we got prices at the end. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's from, from still super weird to me that they didn't try to go toe to toe with the with the 2080s. Yeah. They, they know, but have they ever, you know, because I, I want them, I always want AMD, I'm always waiting for AMD to be like, and it's better in every way than the flagship, you know? I feel like they, they know where they stand, and they're like, okay, we know that we're the budget hardware manufacturer, so. I don't know, I thought they were trying to change it up, kind of come in there like, oh, yeah. swing and dick and like beat out NVIDIA on their, on their own turf. And the really, they're still just, you know, having a great price point for against Intel. Yeah. But when it comes to the we chips, really they're not they're not going against the 2080, and they're definitely not going against the Titan. So they don't so really, they're kind of two one steps one behind on that, worth you know, with, with their current generation, so you know? And, let's, and, and that's why I thought, like, maybe maybe PCI 4.0 so architecture would unlock something, you know? Yeah. But that's the same dream I had with, with uh, Fury. You know, I thought Fury with HBM architecture was going to was going to do leaps and bounds. And you know, that's kind of funny, right? So we just saw all that comparative gameplay and stuff, and even that. with PCI 4.0, we didn't see that. No, I mean we didn't see astronomical improvements. We saw slight improvements. Yeah, like I saw a hexagon way better. But I thought that was really going to be like a massive, massive difference. Yeah, got it. This owl. So it's just, it's, I think it's just like a short movie graphic thing that they rendered with you. Tech demo. That Tech demo. rendered in real time in a 1440p, 30 FPS, on consumer grade system with a single GPU. I feel like we've seen this. Oh, this was the, um, the guy with the dog. But he came out. This is Ghost Recon? This is Ghost Recon. I don't think so. Now, Unity demo team relied on cinematic quality effects oh, in HDRP to no. make this. Oh, I guess the actor's face looks State familiar. of the art physical camera based post They probably get there all from the same character model database. Sherry, uh, 10, thank you for the ball. Shadows. Nice. GPU driven VFX to the I mean, max. The guy in Ghost Recon is John Burnfall. You see it throughout yeah. all of the demo. It's what makes you mean it come Punisher? Yep. Yeah. Complex material. Because I only know him as Punisher. So I mean, and also that guy from maybe a Walking Dead show or something. Is that, that's his real name. Huh? <laughs> no, no, that was yeah. nothing like him. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was it's the wrong the nose. The, next gen we the wrong everything. Yeah. Did we see this video at all? No. Yeah, they showed a clip of it wow, well, at the start of their thing. The yeah, oh. but, but not for the stuff that we were watching. So Thank you. I actually can't wait for the expansion of this IP. God, I'm so yeah. tired. I can't wait for this. Now this remarkable visual quality. I'm excited for tomorrow, though. Yeah. I don't know why. I want to see what Nintendo is all about. So sort of, uh, same thing with EA. I will admit the the lighting on that shot, on the, the shots in that, look great. Yeah. And if that if that's a, an example of what the direction is heading, then it's going to be wonderful. You know. Absolutely. I think I think the race that that AMD has is to try and make visual of the new representations of what RTX is without RTX. Yeah. And I, I think it's possible through through different directions, you know. Like, like anything, a lot of it, which is a lot of it's a gimmick. Well, that's about how you do it. Like, 
the reason they call RTX RTX is because it has ray tracing cores on it specifically. There's nothing that says you can't what use you you can't need to the software ray tracing the right amount of sharpness or some other without alternative. Without creating aliasing or yeah. artifacts in the final image, but you also want to preserve all of the soft gradients that are present in the original frame. We also have a fixed budget. So many milliseconds to spend on graphics and other things. I also things. like the ear. And we I like that there's a little glow behind his ear so you can see that it's like the there. And a grade of scaler gives us a lot more room to do more. We worked very closely with AMD to integrate a highly optimized uh, GPU. I know we say this every time there's some big advancement in graphics technology, but like, could you imagine if you had just played like Mike Tyson's Punch Out and then you beat that game and then you just woke up like here seeing this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here we're gonna zoom it's in it's weird to me because originally in native it's like a it's like when when someone says now, you don't notice someone aging because you're with them all the time right that's how how gaming is you know the the, the technology got so good so fast but also we're just used to it you know yeah you, we expect avengers level of cg in every movie now and if it's not that we notice yeah yeah you just pick it up you're like well look at that even that's cheap cgi yeah I was watching uh, Starship Troopers. And <laughs> don't get me wrong, love the film, but I can't, I can't watch it as an adult and think the same way as I did as a kid. Right, you know, as awestruck. Yeah, and, but I also see all the flaws in the CG. I see all the, you know, all the layers of, of green screen versus actor, you know, and it's yeah. so apparent, you know. The bugs look all like poppy sometimes. I think a lot of people yeah. want to know when is this going to be available? When are we going to have to play games that look like That's why it's funny when we play like a game like It's true. Like so Tomb Raider or uh, is shipping production uh, ready in twenty nineteen. Can't remember the other name of the game I was thinking of right now. But they when they remaster a game to like HD or four K, yeah, and then you're like, well, just it doesn't look that great, but also it's so much better than it was before. You know, you don't even remember how bad it was unless you see the original. <laughs> I'm gonna be trying the. Uh, you know they made the RTX version of the original Quake. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be playing around with that later this week. <laughs> And personally, I can't it's funny because like things like hour. Quake, yeah, uh, even the awesome Quake engine, when kind of you're shooting the future, like the nail gun, that, visually, like, you're basically shooting triangles. Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because they, they didn't have anything. They you weren't able to make a round uh, shape so yet. Appreciate they could make a right. triangle thanks shape so much, that could essentially move fast enough to be realistic. You know. All right. Well, next. <laughs> anything up, approaching a true circle would be too many polys. Yeah. And now it's like, oh, you expect that. You expect things to be round. That are round. You know, the barrel better be round, otherwise I'm not gonna believe it. And it's my honor to. You know, it's funny though. There's a lot of games that still don't do like true round. Heroes of the Storm actually like if you look. Look at Nova's gun. Everything's squared and trying. Oh, Ubisoft. Good evening, good to see you. All right, nice guys. All right. Hey, they're fading over in time. We were a little worried because you just got off stage. I wish I got one of those red shirts, yeah, though. So <laughs> Team Red? And, uh, yeah. We, yeah. Everyone will I've never, per I've built okay. plenty of you AMD rumors. computers. Yes. I've never owned oh, one personally. I think I'm going to make that switch uh, in a few more years here. Go watch it. In July. Really amazing content. July 7. I got to save up a little more money. Save fast. Theo has five AMD shirts. Well, look at you. Well, look at that. Flex. Weird flex, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> Theo is amazing. Theo has like everything because he hits like all the conventions. Yeah. And they love them. They're just like, oh, you're Theo? Here you go. Have these free things. <laughs> and you don't even like them. <laughs> Ask him how many lanyards he has. Theo, how many lanyards do you have? So we have the same goal. Make it's gonna be a lot. He's going to count them. He's going to count them for a while. Like, Hold on, let me get my box real quick. He'll be back tomorrow. 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 <laughs> Over 30, I don't you're even all aligned around that vision. Yeah, Fair so enough. It's, it's great. And again, uh, the, the games that you're able to create, uh, you know, power. <laughs> Look at this. Get, where, uh, get you someone that looks uh, at, at Kevin or Jeff, uh, like Yves uh, looks at Kevin. Point, obviously, <laughs> uh, a little, a few the John Lithgow. Look <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, look at, game. Look at the uh, ad admiration ask there. Oh, that other dude was a scarf for a second. Yeah, Did you just say, mm -hmm. could you tell us what you're bringing to E3? Yeah. Did you? You know, they just had a panel, right? <laughs> yeah, but they weren't watching it. They were too busy rehearsing. I know. I just don't like Jeff. Nah. Yeah, Jeff. You don't like any Jeffs. <laughs> you don't like our Jeff? It's not true. <laughs> 
Whenever he says Jeff, he says it in such a disdain. Like, like, like if I'm like Jerry <laughs> Seinfeld and Newman. Yeah. <laughs> or Dinkelberg. Wow. That fence didn't look that great. Looks incredible. So nice. It looked pretty flat. Nice. Good pun. But I'm it's, uh, it's pretty spectacular. You're like, I didn't mean it, but okay, I'll take it. <laughs> Accidental death. Is he it's carrying Punisher? Sort of yeah. Places. All right. Because Punisher's a bad guy, right? Yeah, but like... They're they're ghosts, and apparently he was also a ghost. So there's this weird like, oh, so ah, nice. we're enemies, but we're also like we used to be uh -huh. brothers. But we used to be brothers. Isn't that right, brother? Uh -huh. So he's just gonna go like, haha, and like like stab Loki, and then he's like, I, you know, I knew you like snakes, so I became a snake, and then I turned back to myself and then I stabbed you. <laughs> I remember that, yeah. I'm glad AMD made a comeback because it focuses uh, forces a, uh, Intel's next gen to be more improved. Yeah, I'm yeah. curious to see what they will do. And good, and right. yeah. So far, Intel's really only a trash talk in response to Ryzen 3. Uh, and I'm curious to see. But those prices. Yeah. They're something substantial. I think it's going to be like a 999 k A 999K? Yeah. With a bunch of like fists, like 99 things. Oh, yeah. wow. We're doing we're doing yeah. Third Reich jokes. Yeah. yeah. I wish you were. I do, I do not see the point of that. And frankly, I find them offensive. <laughs> wow. wow. You had those on the ready. You've been telling those jokes for a long time. I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> My point is this. Intel's probably putting all their effort into making a GPU right now. Not thinking about CPU, thinking they had it like locked down. Yeah. And then AMD is like, oh, there's just a good GPU, yeah, CPU going on now. And then and then uh, they're going to have to make an answer. So. Uh, it's coming. It, it, and they don't have to answer much. You know? Any of these guys aren't, aren't going to have to like like drop down like the amazing game. You know, yeah, but here's the thing. Like, Intel's barely gotten over 14 nanometer. And, and Only gets better, as we always AMD's say. on 7. Great coin is a nice game. I'm, I'm super... Out of everything I've seen in the past couple weeks, Great Point and Halo Infinite are my two front runners. I'm most pumped for those. Oh, and Cyberpunk. Thank you. Cyberpunk, yeah. Thank you, thank you so much. It's funny. One, one, it's like Cyberpunk is one of those games where you don't really have to say anything, and it's just a part of your list. Yeah. It's always a part of your it's list. It's implied. Fantastic. Yeah. Does it look fantastic? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff is now holding an action figure. Okay, cool swag. Yeah. So what a show. Oh, my God. Yeah, what is he? What is it? It has been a great day. They made an action figure <laughs> of, uh, really, really what's her face? And you know, what we said about... Dr. Lisa Sue? Sue? The, the developers Lisa really Sue? See what they can do with I feel right technology. calling her Dr. Not just Lisa Sue. hardware for hardware's sake. <laughs> no. It's really hardware, software, platforms, all of that. So. No, it's what I love about games is sort of, you know, this Aww. idea of games being this blend of energy. You're right, it is. Technology it is and the technology from action figure of AMD helps all these folks realize their creative vision, push things even further. And I love that you gave us a little sneak preview of, like, what games are going to look like in the future on all these consoles since you're, you're pretty much powering everything now. Now, you said that. Hey, you? Right. <laughs> Look, um, Jeff, you are uh, incredible. I know this is such a busy week for you, so thank you for being here with us at the show. I, I, I'm happy to be here, and before I go, I got something special for you, Lisa, because some of the fans, you know, lots of people like to do you know, mods for PCs, but some of the fans love you so much that they made this, which is Lisa Sue as a superhero. I wanted to give this to you That's on behalf good. of the fan community for AMD. They love you. Lisa, it's so, just so amazing. Lisa, so cool. Look corny. I like it. I don't think there's anything I want more now, though, that like, <laughs> they okay, go into her office for something, yeah. and then she's like, there. got it on her desk or on a shelf. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll take this backstage with me. Lisa. Like, I don't want anything to do with that. that. Yeah. Oh, she rejected. She's like, take it back. Take it back. Yeah. Oh, she turned away the flowers. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had a little figure. Before. You know, you could still be holding it if you didn't send it back. Uh, uh, look, uh, we love E3. It's been so much fun it's to talk been. about pushing the limits of hardware and software. What do you guys think? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, that's solid. Price has saved it. I hope what you see is that change it up from how about that? Accomplish amazing oh, what do you think about that? Oh, what do you think about that? Yeah. What do you think about that, huh? And the best minds in the you guys think? and the best minds in the ecosystem. <laughs> like us? Or together. Is it you just so today just, yeah, oh, no, that's really about bringing <laughs> that's AMD <laughs> the keywords are yeah. what do you think about that or yeah. what do you think? Now you know we it sounds like a threat. 
<laughs> when you say yeah. it, like, what if, what, if yeah. you don't li- what if they don't like what you think? Yeah. <laughs> or two. What do you think about that? It sounds like it came right after an insult from Mike. Two? You know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you're you're okay. fat. What do you think well, about that? Hey, look. Are you guys excited? What do you think? Well, I think I got to punch you. I think that is where we're going. What do you think? Huh? Yeah. Uh, Welcome back, Terry and Michael. Yeah. Number six. Are those great GPUs? And guess what? What? I have one more GPU oh. for you today. Hey. Yep, called it. Called it. Look at that. <laughs> called it. What'd you get? What'd you get? All right, my friends, my friends, my friends. This is a very special GPU, and it's in honor of our Woo. 50th anniversary this Ooh. year. Gold. That's nice, actually. No, the this is out. the 50th yeah. anniversary edition Radeon 5700 XT. Now, is this incredibly gorgeous? Did it have an LS on it? Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. her signature. Now, it's I know edition. it looks pretty, but you also want to know what the specs of this card are. Yes. Mm-hmm. And this card is the best of the best. The highest performer of the 5700 series at 40 compute engines and a boost clock of 1.98 gigahertz. Mm. To do. I guess the 2080? Now, we are super excited about this special edition, and it's going to be available exclusively on AMD.com at a price of $4.99. Get it. Yeah. So it's too limited edition okay, to go. Okay, guys, but you know, I have two kids. It's overclocked That's edition. We have it's cheap. Our GPUs it's really cheap. I don't think it's meant to compete with so the NAD, though. You not not yeah, at a limited run. All right. And we also have to have an extra CPU. Ooh. Mm. So, I know you guys have all been wondering what is the best of the best of Ryzen. So earlier, you saw the 3900X. And was that just an amazing CPU? <laughs> it's 3950? <laughs> yeah. And now I'm happy to say 3901. AMD is not only pushing gaming beyond eight cores. We are not only pushing gaming to 12 cores, but I am so proud to introduce 13 cores. you for the 16. very, very first time here at E3. Meet the world's first 16-core gaming processor. There you go. Yeah. Nice ring. Wow, look at that rock. This is the 3950X, okay? Yeah. This is the best of the best. It's 16 wow. cores, 32 threads. The highest boost frequency in our stock stack with a boost up to 4.7 gigahertz. <laughs> An amazing 72 wow. megabytes of total cash. All of this at 105 watts. It's cool. It's not bad. That's not bad at all. Yeah. Incredible performance. Incredible power. <laughs> Damn, you feel that? Best. And you can expect to see <laughs> Ryzen 9 3950X for gamers around the world this September for $749. Real life stats, please. Ooh. $749. $750. So this is Threadripper. Yeah. Mm. So, look, we love to have fun at AMD. So um, we took this guy for a spin over the weekend here at E3. <clears throat> Take a look at some records being broken. All right, I'm ready. Show me. My body's ready. Whoa. Today we're going to be trying to break several world records with the new Ryzen third generation 3950X. We're going to be using liquid nitrogen, cooling the part way down, <laughs> and see what we can do. So we just dropped the temperature down. We're going to try to modulate it here in a certain range. We've set the BIOS. Uh, I mean, that's just cheating now. Voltage, and we're going to do everything else in Ryzen Master. So but they are outdoors degrees. in California. So yeah, you, you actually button. need that. That's a good point. Okay, yeah. so, okay go. It is so hot this week. It's <laughs> I think it was like a hundred and it's gonna be a hundred and five or something like that. Jesus. Hey. Oh my god. Oh my little pause. This is like inception all over again. Pause. Oh, Jesus. Too much. It's too much to you. <laughs> Michael Hayes, <Hey>, stop <laughs> it. Was that good or what? <laughs> Oh, right, well, we've had so much fun this afternoon, but now I really do need to wrap up. So um, I hope you get a feeling of how excited we are. We are so they told you they have good stuff at the end. Upcoming Ryzen 3 yeah, they, they GPUs saved it. And yeah. They really did. Yeah. GPUs. I, I honestly thought AMD was done. Together, they are just an amazing yeah. platform for gamers. I'm glad we took it out. What I said is we want to put the best technology 
in every gamer's hands. And so when you put these products together, we have a leadership PC platform for every one of you out there. Leadership at every price point. That's our commitment, giving gamers the best everywhere. And we can't wait to get these products in your hands. The entire lineup will be available on shelf worldwide July 7th. Oh. We hope you have a phenomenal summer yeah. building and gaming on Ryzen and Radeon. Thank you. Woo. That was great. Yeah. Excited, huh? That was a pretty dope press release. Yeah. So, uh, Ryzen taking it away with the current, the best uh, pres presentation so far? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, best that, that affects us. Yeah. Yeah. Because I love, I love to hear some, some fight in that. That's some good, solid fight. That was, that was a good, yeah, good punch bag. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're punching up. Box, I feel you, man. My wallet is gonna <laughs> hurt. All right, well, I'm gonna have to end this because we have been streaming for... Forever? Uh, for about five hours today, total. Yeah. Uh, so thank you so much for joining us, everyone. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. for the Nintendo Direct. Follow mm -hmm. that, we'll check out Volvo Digital and their VOD. And then um, I think we're going to check out Square Enix and their VOD. And then there's one other one. But we'll be basically doing this uh, one more time tomorrow. Woo! I know. I want to hear about some Pokemans. <laughs> Pokemans? I, I think they have Pokemon Sleep they announced during the last Pokemon conference. Pokemon hmm. Sleep? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now it'll track your sleep now. Pokemon huh. will take over your life. That's, uh, that's a little cool. creepy. <laughs> I don't Pokemon's want... in your dreams. Can you just imagine like Hitmonchan just like standing over you watching you while you sleep? So do you guys have any summaries <laughs> of like what you felt was the best or worst from current day, this, this, just from today? Yeah. I, uh, I mean, I wasn't here for that much of it, but I mean, this, right? Yeah. Obviously, AMD is, is, is the winner right now. For us. For us. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I still want to see Cyberpunk. I want to see, you know, Bethesda's, what they have to offer. Yeah, we're going to see that Wednesday. You know? We don't, we don't have like a Microsoft one, right? We're going to see that Wednesday too. Yeah, yeah. so so that's that's what I'm looking forward to next. I a, a lot of the games right now, it's, it's it's all it's a lot of hype until we see those big companies when they drop. You Did know? you guys watch the uh, the uh, Fallen Order trailer gameplay trailer? Not yet. No, not yet. Oh. Wait, when was that announced? During a uh, Microsoft or? I don't. I don't remember. No. Well, it, we'll it, it we're going to be watching all of it, so it will catch it sooner or later if it was on another uh, panel. But regardless, yeah. we'll see you guys tomorrow at 9 a.m. Uh, to do this all over again with some yeah. new panels. Woo! Latest. Good night. Bye-bye.